okay, I'm not alright. Too bad I'm addicted to telling lies. Like I'm okay, and I'm just fine. Front a smile when I go outside. You never mean to make a mess. Seems that's what I do the best. Need to get this off my chest. But it's locked inside my head. I never mean to make a mess. Seems that's what I do the best. Need to get this off my chest. Yeah, but it's locked inside my head. So if you wanna. Cielo. If people call it CeeLo, that's fine too. I don't. Bro, that's what I thought. Yeah, it call it CeeLo. No, drive. actually, I, kinda, I still call no. it that. I actually, I said it. I said it because like Same the drummer's with, good. Like he's good. Well, he's dead. Well, he was good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that guy's tone's pretty good. That 412 cab is sick. Sick, man. <laughs> I don't even want to touch that with a 10 foot pole. That's crazy, dude. Me, how yeah, many yeah, Avenged Sevenfold me, fans fuck, listen fuck to me, the, your podcast? Me. I don't he's know. Dead. I hope none. <laughs> when was like the first time you like swore on your parents? Oh, dude, I was totally a punk kid, so I definitely probably did it as a teenager and got. Oh, really? got I didn't until I was like twenty one. Really? Yeah. And then you were like the first time you threw it out, you're like, let's see how this goes. One thing you'll never do again. Give me a buzzer, Rich. Shit. Uh, suck five dicks instead of being eaten <laughs> by zombies. Wait a minute! You've done that before? Shit. Holy shit! Your house, her house, or neither when you lost virginity. Oh, fuck. What? When? Oh, dude. when? Yeah. <laughs> oh. My life is frozen. Dude, honestly. I am Elsa. Dude, I go. sing a lot. You want to do anal or no? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> That's what all the kids are doing these days, right? Yeah. They shorten everything. Everything, <laughs> dude. Everything's got to be <laughs> short. Why? Yeah, shall love. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yo, what? how do we get back to French? <laughs> yeah. The saw dude guy? Saw dude. Oh, I, I ran into him I in know. the Miami airport last year. Bro. <laughs> oh, saw dude. Did you say did you saw dude? dude? I didn't. He you turned didn't? around and I went. <laughs> That's my job. Sipping on cream oh, soda. Yeah. Write lyrics like Yoda. Never yeah, say yeah. them backwards. Only say them forward. Oh! Man, I can't even do it right Still now. I'm like, oh, my brain is just. <laughs> oh, hey, What's going on there, Goof? Gorge? <laughs> <laughs> you know oh, the aliens are real? I was hanging out with this lady friend of mine who I shouldn't have been hanging out with. And I was in ministry school at the time. So there's this little divot that goes like right into the woods. Oh, dang, man. That was a good one. I have you literally nothing. Camera. No. You, how long did it stay I, in there? Dude. I I was like How I literally was like scared. I don't think I've said ye in five years. Like nothing by the window at all. Nothing. And she was like nothing up at high. the window. Nothing She's up, up high. She's up high. Like nothing. Flat there. wall. Nothing there. <laughs> and something's like knocking. Knocking on the, on the fucking window, dude. What time of night? Oh, yeah. and if you're listening, you can listen to our song "Girls" on YouTube. Yeah. Girls. On YouTube. On YouTube, just YouTube. type in Cielo Drive Girls." Yeah. We're like getting a lot of traction, so it's like popping up more. Like um, if you just yeah. type in yeah. Cielo Drive, which is cool. I'm just saying, yeah. yeah.
kept calling it lemon cellos. One of our five favorites. Yeah. This is good. <laughs> There's only five on the record. That's a, this is a banger right here, guys. Thank yeah, you, my good. guy. That was good. Glad to have you guys on, man. Dude, we're yeah, so dude. stoked to be here. Thanks How so much. Glad doing? to be here. Thanks so much. Doing good, yeah. Good? Yeah. Good? Yeah. Good. good. Yeah. yeah, it's a sunny I mean, day out. I mean, that always helps, too. Yeah, right. We're, you know, not freezing right now, currently. It, it is nice. Getting that springtime. Deceptive. 50s. 50s are coming up. It'll probably be like 50 degrees out when this comes out. Okay. That is perfect. Ooh, that is perfect. Oh, yeah. What's up? Come on. I was looking at the weather next week. I'm like, ooh, 58. I see. Dude, I saw 56 on there, and I was like, dude, I'm gonna cry. That's gonna feel like I'm gonna be super naked. Hot. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, I'll be just naked. Straight up naked. I'll Come just on. walk out, get the mail naked, and then by the time I get inside, I'll already be burnt, and it'll be like a base layer for summer. <laughs> no, dude, that's how you gotta do it. If you're gonna move anywhere, you gotta establish dominance over your neighbors. You just do everything yeah. naked, you know, yeah. or like. <laughs> Barely, like, not enough clothes on, and nobody messes with you. Like, that guy's weird. Yeah. So that none of my neighbors have ever talked to me. <laughs> In really. the neighborhood of, like, middle-aged, like, very laid-back, <laughs> very, like, reserved people, I just walk out naked. I'm like... Right. <laughs> Just getting, just getting my check going. real quick. Sorry. That's the way I am, though. When you say burnt, like I just turned a lobster. Yeah. And then go right back to pale ass white. <laughs> yep. No in I between. Don't, I don't get a tan. <laughs> no. I, I think we're gonna relate, relate to that. Yeah. Huh? No, you can get tan. I can get tan. I think I can get the tannest probably in this room. Probably. Probably. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Richard, can you get a tan? Oh yeah. Sir Richard. Oh, right. Sir Richard. My, my <laughs> Miami beat. Yeah, he's more tan than me right now. Everybody thinks Dang. I'm Mexican. I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, same. I can see that. No, no, no. I no. like all these little things that you guys put in your songs, too. Like the, you know, oh, I can freestyle to that. Oh, yeah. You yeah. know, it sounds like you're having fun. We, you know? we were. Thank you so much. Yeah, we, yeah. I think all that stuff is like just stuff that got recorded while we were literally just in the process of recording the, oh, the album understand. so it's like it's, yeah you know it's all like organic organic yeah yeah, and yeah. you're not staging it like oh yeah, it's like, like all right now we all need to laugh right now. Every, <laughs> yeah, <everybody> goes like <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah but um yeah no it was probably that was actually the funnest i've ever had recording anything like i've been doing music for a long time now and like that was the most fun least stressful recording session i've ever had in my life right so it was like genuinely i think the most fun i've ever had just we just well, kicking it it's fun music yeah yeah it's true like how can you not have i mean you know yeah you can get down to like the lyrics like this last song like oh shit like, yeah what a depressing <laughs> way to begin this podcast but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah i mean you know yeah. but yeah. it's fun though it's really fun to make and it's like i don't know how you couldn't have fun you know yeah making it that's I, yeah. that that's a really good point i mean i don't know if you want to add anything to that but like we flew out to california to record with um some of brennan's really good buddies who wound up becoming good friends of mine it was just like the whole the whole process was just really just chill like not stressful um we had like we had met a few times before we went out there to like songwrite and you know just to get like the st structures. So down you guys the, haven't known each other very long, then. No, we've actually known each other. We've known like each our other whole quite lives. Time, yeah. Oh, you okay? Yeah. Yeah. But s as far mm -hmm. as making music together, um, for this, I mean, we because we grew up playing in church together. We grew up like on the church worship team. I I was like ten or eleven, and you were thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, and so we like we just kind of grew up together, uh, literally oh. just playing worship songs together, and we were both. I think we were both pretty good for our age, and the problem, yeah. like, we grew up playing in a mega church, so it was okay. like, you know, a <laughs> lot of talent, a lot of talent, shout out to all the homies listening to this, what's up? <laughs> um, but yeah, we, we grew up playing in, you know, we're church worship teams together at like a big church, so um, there's like, you know, quite a bit, of, I wouldn't say necessarily, an, uh, yeah, maybe an expectation on us, like, to kind of be good, so, I mean, we got good, I guess, and we right. played together. Every Wednesday, Saturday night, and Sunday services, and then, you know, as we got older, we started playing for other stuff like their like college age group stuff. So we literally were playing like Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. Right. Practice on Tuesday. Everyone's like, oh, yeah, I'll take a yeah. Break. Um. So it's like, 
we just we've been yeah we we cut our teeth so to speak i guess together <laughs> just like learning about music and playing so when me and brennan started in a were, like most positive uplifting environment <laughs> yeah <laughs> you yeah. know what i mean oh, yeah. everybody's gonna come up to you there and just be like you suck <laughs> you know <laughs> like when i went on stage for the first time and started playing it was like at an open mic you know at a bar <laughs> oh yeah like oh, God. Yeah, some what are they going to say? Some boomers like, get off the stage if you yeah. ain't playing Freebird. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> or you need to learn how to do it this way. Yeah. 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 God, I hate that. Same, yeah. man. So, yeah. I mean, if you treat it like like gigs, I mean, we were playing like three, four show, shows a week yeah. in a sense, but as like 12-year-olds. <laughs> right. And like the thing is, too, like it's a big church, so we were playing in front of like a couple hundred kids like every week. You know? Yeah, and then, you know, when we got old enough or good enough, we started playing in like their main services. So it's like that was literally two thousand people minimum every Sunday. So it was holy like, crap. We so were, is this a church around here? Yeah, yeah. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. If we'll say which. No, which yeah, church but it is. it's a one of those big yeah. old. Holy crap! I went to one of those shopping mall churches. Yeah, it's a yeah. shopping mall. It was a church in Wyoming that I went to. <coughs> yeah, around here. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. And it was, but it was really cool because as a teenager, when I went, you know, I didn't really want to go to church. Oh, yeah. So I was like, man, this is yeah. boring. And I have That's to sit through the, the sermons. And yeah. All, you know. <laughs> but they went down and they had like this teen area and there was like beanbag chairs, yeah. oh, dude. pool tables. They yeah. had a bar that had pop. But it looked like a Ooh. bar, you know what I mean? Like, you, dude, that yeah. does that does sound like, like a church we grew up playing in together. It could be because there was a big <laughs> stage down at the end, and there was like, you know, like like an auditorium all the way down, and alongside they had beanbag yeah. chairs and stuff like. This. Is this the same church? It might be. I don't yeah. know the name of it. Yep. But yeah, dude, dude, that's funny. Isn't that funny? That is funny. I, I mean, I didn't go very much, but when I did, my uncle went. Oh, that's what happened. Is uh, my uncle yeah. brought us onto that church, and then they had a woman preacher, and he wouldn't <coughs> go anymore. No, it's oh. probably not, it's probably not our church because I don't think they they had one at one. This was a long time. That. This is a long time ago. Dude, that you is, know, how, how old are you guys? <coughs> long time ago, 2013. Uh, I'm I'm 23, and Brennan's 20. <laughs> what 26? Yeah, 26. 26. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm 30. Nice. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so Rich, we're, 34. We're, might as well throw it out there. You old, <laughs> nice. You old. Fuck. What's up, dude? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Grandpa. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, this could have, I mean, you might not even have went there yet. I mean, if it was in Wyoming, that's, you know. There's a good chance. There's a good chance. Yeah, he's like, no, nah, there's a woman preacher. I'm not, we're not going there anymore. That is, see, that is like, the really? funny Because it's not in the Bible or something like right? that. Oh, like, come on, man. We know. We Spreading actually, the word. Is, yeah. Not to get too personal. We actually both did go to ministry school, though. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we, won't, we won't, I don't think we'll get into that at, very much, but we both did do that, so. Um, like not just like catechism classes or something. No, well, because like, it's like you know, it depends on like the kind. Like, the, no. <laughs> like I think I the, did a couple of those at a hey, church before. That's what's up, dude. Um, no, it just depends like the denomination of like church or whatever. And we did, I guess, ours version of that, <laughs> so to speak. Um, which so what was your denomination? Uh, like I think technically <coughs> you would say like non-denominational, full which gospel, is ironic. Is full, full gospel, gospel or assemblies, thing? assemblies of God, something. Something like that, but there's so many, dude. And that's the thing. I don't even know well, what it was. Yeah, there's so many. It's like genres of metal. Yeah, dude, <laughs> that is the best way of putting it. <laughs> it seriously is. Like, I'm yeah, this church doesn't what have very. Kind? Yeah. This what genre of Christian are you? <laughs> yeah, for I don't. Real. I don't like this church. Their breakdowns suck. <laughs> <laughs> they don't do enough breakdowns yeah. here. They do too, too many, many breakdowns. Blads. <laughs> too many blast beats. Yeah, yeah too, too many, many blast beats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They only play in drop A. I don't I'm just kidding. Yeah. But <clears throat> it's crazy how many how many though there are and you like you start looking around like you just Yeah. You know, Bay City where <laughs> I grew up pretty much for well my high school years. Yeah. There's just like churches <laughs> everywhere there. Dude. And yeah. it's like they're all like a different one. You got like Lutheran, like Emmanuel Lutheran, and then you got your Catholic ones. Yeah. And you got Reformed. Like when I said yeah. catechism classes, that's probably what just for Baptists because that was at I think a Baptist church. Catechism's like Catholic and Presbyterian, yeah. and there's a few. I mean, that's my thing. Of like, I don't even know at this point. Like, what all? Yeah. I'm like, I don't know <laughs> who's doing what. And I went to church school. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. yeah. Shoot. Yeah. Yeah. Learn about God. Shoot dang. Come on, man. Shoot dang. God Shoot bless dang. you, brother. 
God, right. God bless you, brother. God bless you, brother. Yeah. Yeah. Amen, brother. All oh, right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I guess that's like, you know, that's how we met through church music and... um. Oh man, you wrapped it right back around. Yeah, man, you're fucking segue. good at this. Thank you, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up? <laughs> yeah, um, but we wrote the album. I think in a month, maybe two weeks. To be honest. Yeah. yeah. Well, this you know again, this it's not it's a little different. This it's, kind of music. Dude, you, and that's, you can sit there in front of the computer and come up with a lick, and then you can sample that lick. Yeah, yeah. Get that's it going, pretty much like, what boom. we did. Like I, yeah. I just had a buddy of mine ask me about like how we were doing that, and I. They're like, well, we met, like, one time. We just kind of, like, hung out and messed around on acoustic guitar and just came up with some of, the, like, the licks and the ideas. And then next thing I know, we were on an airplane out to California. Yeah. I was already planning on going out there. <laughs> yeah. And I had called my my buddy, Davey, who was going to record um, some, like, solo stuff that I'd been doing just because I'd only put out stuff underneath my own, like, project. Okay. And I've been doing that for, like, a little while. But I was kind of over it. And so I was kind of like, I don't really know if I want to do this. And so we were hanging out with another buddy. Shout out to our boy, Kyle. Yeah, shout out, Kyle. Man. Kyle's. Kyle's up in this bitch. Kyle, dude. <laughs> All the Kyle's. Yeah, All shit, the man. And the yeah. Kyle's. 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 Screw you guys. Go <laughs> home. Yes. Um, the guy that said it to me at work every fucking day. Dude. <laughs> Screw you, Kyle. Rich, yeah, Rich like, knows because now he oh, says it. Yeah. Kyle. I'm like, fuck you, Rich. <laughs> fuck you, Kyle. <laughs> Bringing it voice. back. No. Yeah, every day. See him in the hallway. I'm like, oh, you're like, dude, I didn't even bastard. watch that show that much, bro. Yeah, like, I'm see, not that much of a fan. Who, honestly, I don't know anyone who's like watching South Park like that, you know? Yeah, to like say it's it to true. me every day. <laughs> yeah, it must have just be because I'm the janitor. He's just like, Cal, well, yeah. what's he gonna do, Cal? <laughs> <laughs> so it's like that, Clean or it's the like thing I shit on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> go, <Google>, Cal. <laughs> yeah. And they get it, yeah. <laughs> it's either that or like the stereotype of like. The just like the drinking monster or whatever, like oh yeah, yeah. and yeah. I'm just like I fucking right. hated that because I hate yeah. energy drinks. I don't oh, even dude, drink them. That's so <laughs> I'm like, man, hey man, I got you this monster. It's also a um, Mountain Dew and punching holes in drywall. See, yeah. that's the yeah. other one. I couldn't remember so the rest then of you it. Got that there. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> everybody <laughs> thinks that I did. Shit. And I'm like, no, I didn't do that. It's been like that since I moved in. <laughs> Damn, oh, you, dude, you should have played off. Oh, that happened last night when the power was out. Yeah, <laughs> punched the wall. I got mad. I should have. Damn it. Couldn't see. Damn it. But yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Shout out to all yeah. our friends named Kyle. Shout out to Kyle. So in between us hanging out with said Kyle, yes. me and Noah were like, we should start a band. Oh, this and is then easy. You Kyle's guys are just running there. this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, are we talking too much? No, it's great. No, no he's wrapping it back around. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so yeah. Kyle, Kyle sat there and watched us talk about starting a band. And then I think a couple weeks later, he came over, and that's when we kind of like went through the things. Dude, it was actually, it was super fucked up. Pardon my French. Um, just because no, it was like. I thought that was English. Oh, wee wee. Wee wee. We were sitting there, though. <laughs> is it fuck? Yeah. <laughs> it sounded almost German there. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, it is. Uh, <laughs> and I can't really go to French without German getting in that's there. I don't damn. know. <laughs> Back to back World War. No, anyways. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anyways, um, <laughs> but it was like because my projects <coughs> were kind of like wrapping up uh, towards the end. Like Vela, so I used to scream in a metal band. That was kind of like wrapping up, and Brennan was like way stoked on like the idea of like doing this project. I was like, dude, I would I would love to do that. That sounds awesome, man. Um, but then, thank you. Yeah. So we started doing that literally like just talking about it and like brennan was way hyped and i was like oh dude he's like super into this and that's been like the hardest thing for me is like to work with people who are like a hype about something you know they right. want to do it they're invested in it so like that was just really exciting and then <clears throat> yeah you got you got to have everybody yeah and and like invested yeah like like that's like yes, I want to do this. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And you know, you get one guy in a band, dude. You know, you played in bands. Oh, dude, I've... did you play in bands, or were you always more of this style of like you know music? I was in one when I was super young. Like, super young. S- s- like right. I'm talking about like 12 years. So you've old. You've mostly been like a solo. Played in a guy. garage, and the only song we knew was Stacy's mom. <laughs> so she does indeed yes. have it going on. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I had one band uh, in school, but we mostly just played like covers right we like only played covers and like would play 
like right. a couple parties and but stuff. But going like, through like being in bands and stuff, and, like in groups of guys, holy it's dude, like it's... you get one dude, one turd, man, and it's like the whole ship sinks. It's, it's so just... hard, dude. It's so especially hard. if they're like a, like a, more of a key component, dude. you know? Yeah, yeah like, absolutely. It, I mean, I, again, I hate to throw the bass player under the bus, but you don't got to be there every day. <laughs> like, <laughs> I well, that's why I think that's funny you say it because I've been like known as a bass player my whole life. <laughs> Right. So and that was the thing of like, but you don't have to be there you every have, day. No, that's you don't. exactly true. It's I'm great. Like, it's I, great for you. I, you know, and that was the thing. Like that was my problem of like, I don't know if I'm a control freak or if I'm just like OCD about certain things. He's a things. control freak. I am a control freak. He's OCD. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. Um, no shame. But <laughs> it was just like I'd be like, okay, guys, we like being a bass player, not playing a key role, but being the person who's like, all right, we got to do this. What if we did X, Y, and Z? And you know, like, I just wound up like kind of figuring out how to manage bands and, like, how to just, like, booking shows and, like, all that because for some, no one else would do it. Or if they started to, they were doing it wrong in my book. So I just started doing it for every band I was in. Mm-hmm. And then, um, so I've, you know, I've always been a bass player because I've been a mediocre guitar player. But then, like... like most bass players yeah, are. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> but, like, I started on bass first and then I was just playing, like, I picked up the guitar to songwrite and do some songwriting mm-hmm. and then... When I lived out in California for a couple of years, I, I was able to like somehow pretend I was good enough to convince someone to let me, like pay me money to help write them like some of their music. And you know it wasn't crazy; it was through a connection of like being at ministry school and stuff out there. So I right. like started playing guitar and just not be, to be a guitar player, but to write songs. And then played in a couple more metal bands, wrote some songs. Yeah, you hit me up one time. Yeah, 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 because that was in Vela, because we had an EP that was supposed to come yeah, out. Yeah, I was kind of a dick when I messaged No, back. dude, that's fine, dude. I, no, I was. I was, like, sour. I was, like, sour. I was like sour. He's like, your band probably sucks. <laughs> no, I was like just sour on the whole scene at the time. <laughs> oh, dude. Jordan Kohlberg, like messaged me. He's like, hey, man, this guy. I'm like, so we started talking. I'm just yeah. like, what, what kind of music is it? <laughs> no, I I was like, no, I don't like this one, but I really like this one. Yeah. And then it was like nothing. And I'm like, good. I don't feel like it right now. <laughs> <laughs> it was dude, funny. Well, no, that's so Because I look back on it after we were talking about it, I was like, man, I think I was a dick. No, dude, you're, <laughs> but, good. you're good. I was probably, I mean, like, I've grown a lot since then, which that was, I think it was like a year ago, honestly. Probably. Probably. And I don't know. Yeah, I, I metal just, <clears throat> I I don't know if I just couldn't ever cut it at metal, but I, like, got really just fed up with it. Just the writing, even the genre, even, like, trying to play local shows and stuff. And Yeah. Somebody just, like, posted the other day on my timeline, um, Justin Olsen from uh, Dead Nerves. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm friends with him. On yeah, the, he posted, yeah. he's like, if I could only just play three shows a year and spend spend the other weekends creating music, I'd oh, be happy. Dude, yeah. Like, see, I, like I'd rather just make music <clears throat> than play shows. And I'm like, you know, it's catch twenty two because yeah, I fucking see it and I understand yeah. it too. Because yeah. once you get gigging and you want to like, you got to make a name for yourself. You yeah, know, you're fucking hitting the ground and you're playing all the time. It's yeah. Like, uh, sometimes it's just like, is this even worth it? I'd rather yeah. just. I, have time to make music because that's what I like doing. Right, is making yeah. music. Well, and I think for me, I don't know if Brendan relates to this, but I like that's always been a huge. Well, I'm part sure of, he's been a solo guy. He's like, I just right. want to fucking crank out some music. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like I mean, like the live. He aspect. gets it. <laughs> yeah, like that was the thing. Like, so I quit. Like, I worked at a guitar store in West Michigan Firehouse Guitars. Shout out to them for sure. Um, yeah. But I worked there for like couple years when i moved back from california and then i remember like that was an awesome job so are you from california no i'm from here oh I'm, you're from yeah, here. i grew up okay. in yeah. west michigan okay. we both did so. we referenced you a couple times uh, yeah i was just like no, i okay. just i lived out there for uh, like two years two and a half years or something like that okay. and, um but yeah so i like quit my day job which was selling guitars at the time to like just play music live because i was like 21 and i was like i just want to <clears> play music so I, uh, that year was crazy. I like broke up with my girlfriend who I thought I was going to be with forever because I was just mm. like, this is holding me back from like doing what I want to do. It was right. like, crazy. So I quit my day job, broke up with my girlfriend, and just jumped into playing bands and playing. Like, I've always played shows, but I think yeah. that year I played every weekend. I played like 68 gigs that year. Wow, let's creep this microphone. Oh, am I in the way? Um, like that little knob right here? This guy? Right there? Yeah. 
Oh yeah, I'll bring Isn't it out. It, it'll bring it out a little bit more. Towards there we you. go. Because yeah, you're looking more this throat. way, so it's like kind of straight on. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> this way people can hear me. Oh man, oh, XLR yeah, cables. Oh, that's oh, good. Yes. Yeah. I'm Please sure don't watch know. me. I'm like struggling. Hey, he's on the camera. Just this guy's been time. around cords for a long time. He should be able to get this. I really that's why should, I trusted man. you. I'm you look like, experienced like, with the XLR I'm a poser, apparently. Yeah. Just or you can just myself. move the whole thing forward I could, if you uh, have to. Is that good? Is that better? Yeah. Like, okay. yeah, just where, you know. There we go. There. Hello, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Um, but yeah, I don't even know where I was going. I don't either. I thought oh, we were going to yeah, get it. Oh, yeah, playing live shows. <laughs> Damn, yeah, see, you're good like, at this. God. You're good at this. <laughs> Man, woo, woo. Got another one coming Ooh. in clutch, boys. There we go. Um, but I love playing live. I think that's my biggest thing. Though. Yeah, oh, it's it was like, the, whole, it's the whole comment from him oh, about yeah. not, like, liking the music. So, yep. And so yep. for me, this is like the perfect balance because this is the first time... I'm kind of in like a producer role because it's like I'll play the guitar and the bass. And Brennan's a really talented guitarist too. Um, yeah. So it's like really fun. We're able to come up with a lot of guitar stuff. But I've yeah, well, been... you said he, you primarily so do guitar and vocals. So do you both do vocals or is it just you? Like, oh, we, I guess we both do because I, yeah, there's a couple songs I like scream on just because it's so it's like out of the out of girls and hate me are. Is that just one of you or both? Of That's you? me, and then That's there's just you. So screams just, and hate me. That yeah. Are so the okay. I only do those like screams and like weird stuff. But um, I think for a girls, Brennan tracked the acoustic, and then I did the electric. And okay. Then for hate me, I think I did all of that. You one. did all of hate yeah. me, yeah. So it's just like it's been really fun to move from either a bassist or a guitarist to now, like we write all the songs together, and I yeah. think it's super fun. Like I love yeah. writing songs. I also love playing live, and I miss that. So when that happens, come see us, Seattle Drive. It's going to be a sweet time. Um, but, yeah, I, so it's like it's been really fun just being able to get into this Cielo. new Cielo. If people call it Cielo. That's fine, too. I don't. Bro, that's what I thought. Yeah, it call it Cielo no, Drive. Actually, cool. I, kinda, I still call no, it that. I actually, I said it. I said it kind of yeah. like that. And I was like, it sounds nah. so cool. Oh, but I was like, no, it's wrong. It sounds wrong. That's probably Cielo. Yeah. yeah. Then I was like, oh, Cielo Green. <laughs> Come on, baby. And then you're Remember like, that dude? Yeah, Parkway dude. Drive. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's like, what? All of CeeLo that. Green <laughs> made love with Park. Oh, man. CeeLo, CeeLo Green, Green and took Parkway that bitch Drive. Over. Had, oh, he did. Dude, I'm surprised he hasn't gotten canceled yet. Yeah, a little bit of Parkway screaming through here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Um, yeah, me out. Well, it was so funny because, like, um, my buddy, <laughs> our photographer Kevin, actually is a is a friend of mine, and he has a death metal band called Ritualist. But like, well, oh yeah, I've heard of that. Yeah, Ritualist. Shout out to them. They're sick. If you like technical death metal or whatever subgenre that I just got wrong. Yeah, whatever denomination all these, you are. All the gate. Yeah, it's screaming. What metal denomination are you? Yeah, part what of? denomination are yeah, you? Yeah, all the gate creepers <laughs> yeah. who listen to this podcast are like, this guy doesn't even play metal anymore. <laughs> he got the genre wrong. What a douche. What a fucking douche. <laughs> God. <laughs> um, you act like you've been out of metal forever, dude. Yeah, right? <laughs> no, dude. Best decision of my life. I'm so glad I don't play metal anymore. <laughs> I mean, I think my last show, metal show, we played at the yeah, uh, the Music Factory. No, no, no. What's the one in Battle Creek? Yeah, Music Factory. The music factory. Yeah, we, yeah, so we played there, and it was it was awesome. It was a good time. and um, But, shoot, I don't know. Oh. Doing pop music, doing e- emo trap, hyper pop. It's like just way more fun. <laughs> We were, like, the writing style is completely different. Well, yeah. with, like, yeah. metal, you're focused on the riffs and, like, certain aspects. Like, it's very compartmentalized. Like, with pop and, like, emo trap, everything, you have to look at, like, the whole song together. Like, what parts interact. Like, and you're looking at more of a whole, like, <clears throat> puzzle instead of just one aspect or the other. You know, it's like, oh, this metal band has a great drummer. Or this metal band has a great vocalist. Or this metal band, it's like... It's very focused on the on just instrumentation instead of the whole songwriting. Right. So I think, as far as like, yeah, there's some bands that I'll listen to just because their drummers freaking. Oh good. yeah, dude. You of know? course. Yeah. Like, like you know, you got your Matt Griners and all. That's those. like the only way possible I can make it out alive of an Avenged Sevenfold song. <laughs> 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 Because like Same the drummer is good, like he's good. Well, he's dead. <laughs> well, he was good. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm You're not wrong. I mean, I hey, have said that <laughs> he's dead. Well, he was Rest good. No, that'll be a good fucking edit. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's going right on the trailer. You can see that next week. Oh. 
Yeah, it's gonna, there's going to be like, no context the, to it. It's just going to be like... He's just, interviewing a pop band that are talking about metal and Jimmy <laughs> Sullivan's death? What a bunch of assholes. <laughs> yeah, now we're laughing. Yeah, right? Yeah, <laughs> see, that's what I mean. It's just going to be like, well, he was dead. And we'll, be like, well, he was good. That's it. <laughs> You're not going to know. Why? That's where it ends right, right there. That's that's just like, people are like, that, that's the whole thing? <laughs> Anyways, yeah. pop music is really fun to make. And I'm tired of pretending like it's not, you know? Yeah, it's like, dude, for so sure. So much fun. Yeah. And that's what you've and that's what you've primarily done when on your solo stuff is kinda like um, popish or was it like, you know, would you dabble more in any dub stuff like or anything? R and B, I would say. R and B? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So uh, like R and B kind of like trying to like the off brand version of the weekend. <laughs> the off brand. It's not so like, so the brand, weekday. Only brand yeah. Yeah. The week, yeah, yeah. The it's weekday. actually called Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Just Friday. Just Friday. That's it. And Friday, but one that you're not doing anything fun and exciting. On. Yes, <laughs> yes, for sure. Quarantined weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Mm. yeah no, that's what I did. And yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of got sick of. I put out an EP like like two months ago. Okay. And that was the last one that I put out. And that one was more poppy, more influenced by, like, punk kind of stuff. But it wasn't, like, fully, like, you'd listen to it and go, oh, this sounds like pop punk lyrics. <laughs> so, like, I was getting close to, like, more of a sound that I liked. But everybody that I showed my music to would either be like, oh, you sound like The Weeknd. Or they'd be like, do you listen to Pierce the Veil? And I'm like, right. yeah. yeah. And then they'd yeah. be like... I can totally tell by your singing, and I should have. Right then, I should have been like, "Okay, I'm done with like R and B. I should make music that right. there's more to my voice." Insert auto tune. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, man. Come on. Well, that's the thing. People are like, that's the thing that makes me laugh about metalheads. They're like, "Oh, there's auto tune, and the and like metal, there's no auto tune. You use real drums." I'm like, "Dude, buddy, I have bad news for you. I don't." That's think why it sounds like you're slapping something in the yeah. mud when you hit the snare sometimes. Come on. Oh, man. Snares are hard to mix. Dude, that's true. Tell None of it's me about real. It. And that's the thing like music production. Oh, my God. Music is so different. That's why it always sounds so like garbage. Different. Dude, and that's like, <laughs> you can always like, do something different. Uh, and that's what's crazy to me like well, the way music is created. You know, if you look at like the 70s and stuff, it was like a bunch of dudes in a studio. Like yeah. that is that's how records are made. Nowadays, it's like just some buddies chilling in their mom's basement. <laughs> with a guitar and an interface and whatever DAW, and yeah. then, like, dude, all of a sudden you're making, you, you know, do it make, all yourself. It's crazy. And that's like, you know, I'm not a good producer by any means, but it's like, figure out what you can do yourself because not only will you save money, but you'll be able to just, once you figure that out, you can just create, create, create. Yeah. And that's the thing of like, like we said earlier too, music or, <clears throat> you know, off, like just over Messenger, like music is just all about like networking these days and yeah. connecting with people. And just like advertising on social media all the time, and it's all just the time. it's crazy. And that's yeah. a, that's the other thing. Like it's hard for metal bands to like you gotta go through and like literally the best way to do it is like just go through and schedule a bunch of posts. On yeah, your page. dude, absolutely. Like, you just schedule yeah. it. I'm still trying to get that down. Like I gotta work on that, dude. Well, but it's hard when you know, especially for a podcast. It takes you know a oh, couple t- days to get to it generate, up, and then yeah. it's like you gotta wait for it to upload. And yeah. So it's like to schedule it out. But yeah, that's the best way. Like I started to do that with my last band. It's mm-hmm. just like schedule it out for a week. Yeah. Then you ain't got to worry about it. Dude, and that's yeah. take care <laughs> I of mean, it for you. It you helps because I feel like me and Brennan are always on Instagram and Facebook and yeah. TikTok anyways because we're, we're meme addicts. We love the memes. I do love, love memes. memes. So we're just like, oh, this is funny. Let's share this on the band page. You know, right. it's just like, yeah. yeah. We're just, you know, it's just funny. And that, that's the thing of like the idea of, Bands like, oh, you got to be mysterious. You got to be like, that's so backwards. You just got to start making your own memes, too. Ex- and that's the thing. Yeah. You got to figure out, yeah. like, yeah, yeah you got to figure out to make some, you know, memes of yourself and poke fun at yourself. You and- do, because that was, like, one of my best posts yeah. that I ever made on our band page. Yeah. Like, I made a meme, and I was like, wow, people fucking reacted to it? Yeah. Holy <laughs> shit. Like, we are seen. Dude, yeah. your, your, engagement, <laughs> your engagement's all fucked up because it's just, like, <laughs> no, our engagement got fucked up because our basis went <coughs> went and fucking spammed liked everybody. Dude, Ooh. he was fucking adding people and just like liked the band and then like would delete them. <laughs> I was like, "What did you do that for?" <coughs> yeah, dude, that's real. I'm bad. like, you gotta stop. Yeah, I. That's Facebook why, like, like, when like when, for my page now, it's like it's 
I don't spam. I do the initial when I launch the page. <laughs> yeah. Invite everybody on my friends. Yeah. And yeah. I make a custom message instead of the bullshit. Hi. Like, you know, it's like, oh, another one. Yeah. Oh, geez. yeah. Dude. Oh, we, dude, I hate I think that. we've all been there at some point, but then you realize, oh, this is just stupid and not helping me. And then you just start making fun of those guys who are still trying to do that. The worst is the, the ones that do fucking, like, <clears throat> add you and then, boom, like my page. It's like, oh. Yeah. Damn. Oh, yeah. No. Bye. I thought I was making a new homie. I didn't know it was yeah. this easy to make homies. He's like, like my shit. Like, yeah. 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 Fake friends. Come on, you man. Fake. Just trying to promote, huh? <laughs> Always on the grind. Yeah, I, I see. I knew you were yeah. a Me liar. too. <laughs> like my page dude, first. <laughs> and that's, first off, dude, that's the problem with metal like fans. For like. No, it's like, like for like. like. I mean, yeah. I'll joke about that with my friends. I'm like, yo, dude, did you like the video like for like my guy? And like, yeah. I'm just making fun of it. But yeah. shoot, that's... First off, that's the problem with like all these metal bands. No. Who are they? Who they market to? Other guys who play in metal bands. Exactly. So first off, right off, right out the gate, exactly. you're gonna shoot yourself in the foot by not marketing to people who are like not musicians. Yeah. Which is like because they're not gonna sit there and share your shit all the time. Yeah, they're not gonna share your show dates, especially if it's on their show dates. Yeah, it's like, yeah. well, that fuck. They you. might show up, but they'll be in the back. Like, yeah. Oh, it's just like, yeah. Yeah. Why oh, did they do this? Yeah, their guitar this tune's track. pretty good, I guess. <laughs> yeah, the XFX <laughs> three is pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, dude, shut up, you nerd. <laughs> and that's the thing of like with this what kind of string gauge you got yeah. on that. Huh. He's drop A. He's playing a, a 64. I don't know. That's pretty weak. <laughs> oh, that, he's using a 212 instead of a 412 cabinet. <laughs> Please. Dude, it's just see my setup yeah, at home. <laughs> at home. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait for these guys to see us next week when it's gonna be. It's just the crowd is just rotating it's bands. Rotating. It's rotating bands. It's rotating. No fucking. Yeah, time. dude. Oh, oh. oh, that guy's tone's pretty good. That four twelve cab is sick, sick, <laughs> man. And that's my problem. Time. That's the thing that makes me so mad about metal because it's like, okay, you're gonna only cater. You're only gonna advertise to metal musicians. Yeah, you do shoot yourself right in the foot trying yeah. to have every other musician like your page and shit, dude. And that's that is a good point. Yeah, that's a good point. And it's like, obviously, if you have friends in the scene or whatever, you you, you <clears throat> want to support that. But that was yeah, the you thing do. of like, you do, you want to support it, but it yeah. just turns into a big circle jerk and the whole time, hundred percent. 100% All the time Dude and God you're so good <laughs> nah, You this. are too <laughs> Oh That's Honestly <laughs> Come on me with your album release <laughs> The boys got the boys yeah. you know? I mean Saturdays I mean, over come the boys on. It's like, Dude, well, that's, you know, but, that's I mean, thing. I love a bunch of dudes in the fucking oh, metal, same. In and the metal community I'm probably, I love And I love I love a lot of music But that's just yeah. the way it looks Dude. And I was sick of fucking doing it same. I was oh, like, dude, I'm stepping same. out of the circle, guys. And that's Sorry. that's kind of like, I mean, I still have a lot of musician friends. Clean but off your hands. Dude, I, yeah, you're just like, you kind of like, so uh, antibacterial, uh, COVID. Yeah, got a social distance, my guy. Yeah, just couldn't do it. I don't have a six foot uh, wingspan. Right. <laughs> couldn't I'm reach anymore. Side. I had to, just, I had to opt out. Do it. Unless you want one of those little grab things where you yeah, just like little T-Rex grab little me. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They used to grab cups. Here you go. I think <laughs> it's like, hey, Grandpa, let me borrow that. Just gonna... <laughs> let me go. Yeah. <laughs> little tick, tick. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the, uh, that's the metal scene, baby. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> There's music biz. <laughs> no, but that was the thing of like, it kind of dawned on me when I was just like, you know, we were share, like trying to promote the single, which we just dropped on a whim because we we're like, dude, we want to share this song with people, and like our our engagement was crazy, but it wasn't from musician friends. It was just from people who, you know, well, they how many views to you got on that song now? Seven hundred and thirty. Seven hundred and thirty. Yeah. And when did you release it? A week, a week ago. Week? Two weeks ago. No. And a half ago. Two weeks ago. Yeah. And we didn't two? promote it or anything. We just. Oh bullshit! Yeah, dude. We just were like, was it two shit. weeks ago that we booked this day? Yeah. Was no, it really? Uh, maybe a week and a half. Because I think you hit me up like the second a day. A week and a half? Yeah, maybe it was two weeks. I can pull it up, the messages. God but dang. Dude, it's... No, I'm just like, like, wow. Yeah. Okay, I didn't think it was that. I thought it was longer than that. But maybe. Yeah. Man, 2021 is like flying by. Yeah, I can't believe it, dude. It's, it's insane. Like, this, this year has been... Fun. Like, I think about last year being, you know, obviously the craziest year anyone's ever experienced as far as things outside of their control but like yeah last year it was like did you find it was that what you were looking it was for? 738 
was is the view count. Oh, oh 738. Yeah, yeah, that's dude, awesome. that's pretty good, dude. I'm pretty, I mean, we didn't dude, promote this? it or anything. It was just people who were like our friends and they liked the song and it was just like crazy good. watching the numbers. Like, like we would wake up. Dude, I heard it and like what I told you, I was like, dude, that is like just, it's like, it's well produced. It sounds good. Sounds like it should be on the radio. Thank you, my guy. Yeah, thanks. And like nobody else is doing that. Yeah. That I know of. Yeah. This kind of music that's that well produced. Like, maybe there is, but I don't know them. And, you know, that could be because I still got the circle jerk in the background. <laughs> but, I mean, I don't, you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't, I yeah. haven't heard it. I haven't seen it. Yeah. So it's new to me. Right, right. At least. Yeah. yeah. Fuck them all. It's new to me. It's Fuck straight it. Up. I mean, there's you know like what a, I mean? It's good. It's just thanks, good. It man. sounds like yeah, it should be on the radio. I appreciate that. And I think... You know, because I think that genre has definitely grown quite a bit. But I think, I don't know. I it's, wouldn't say we're super. We're not reinventing the wheel, but we're no, definitely unique. No, in it's the sense mainstream. Of like, we have enough, I think, guitar in our songs and like guitar solos in some of the songs to be like, oh, this is like it's money making it, music. Yeah, man, and it like that feels good. Like <laughs> that's what it is. And that's the thing. Like we love. Like you want to make some money? Stop playing metal. A- Preach. <laughs> but, Preach. But, but people play metal because they like to play metal. And See, that's what, yeah. when I yeah. would play metal shows, I'm like, you know, I'm not doing this for the money. Yeah. I'm doing this because I love the feeling of playing on stage. And when you do yeah. one in ten shows, get that packed oh, crowd. Dude. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. And the feeling of everybody, you know, slamming their head to yeah. your shit or doing a mosh pit is yeah. like no other. <laughs> dude, it's... It's like no other, so it, Shoot, it makes it all worth it in that moment, that one climax. Yeah, you know what I mean. Preach, brother. So like, it's good. Yeah, well, but everybody's under the understanding that you know we're not in this really to make a lot of money. See, and that's my thing yeah. too. And you know, I love like even before I loved metal, I was passionate about music. And then for a long time in my life, like metal just was the music I did and created. And like, I like screaming in metal bands. I think that is like one of the funnest things for me was just screaming in a metal band and just yeah. like yelling at people and i'm like telling people to you know mosh or you know and they do and as a like, vocalist too yeah as a vocalist yeah you know i always thought that too because i always played drums so i'm like sitting and i'm like stationary yeah and it moving. always sucked because i couldn't i couldn't play bass or anything yeah. and um i couldn't play dick on a guitar yeah i'm like i'm never gonna be Metal's able to hard. i'm never gonna be able to like get out on the stage right. and move around because I'm always stationary, but I felt like I knew what I could do like to get people into it. You know what I mean? I so up. being, Oh, that's fine. No. Um, <clears throat> so being a, uh, drummer, I'm like, man, if I could, you know, what it would be like to be the vocalist and to be able to like initiate that. Yeah. Dude. yeah. And that's going to be like when you guys, you know, play a show. So do you guys plan, plan on like, playing instruments live yeah so is this gonna be more of like because you gotta have a show with this stuff well and that's the thing we're still figuring you know, out like kind of the you know, whole yeah. production aspect 21 of pilots type Dude, deal i mean yeah we, we've already looked into i've already looked into like rich you've seen them live and, right yeah i took caden to see him nice yeah, i wanted to go see that and show see, how was it it was they're really good live and see, they both play an instrument thing. right yep Bands, yep. you yep. you can be smart about it, and you can have killer shows. And like, yeah. that's my thing of like, there are these days not a lot of metal bands who I'm like, oh, I need to see them live before they break up. These days, for me, I'm like, there's a lot of like, pop bands or like mainstream stuff that I'm like, damn, I really want to see that before they break up because yeah. I think that'd be like, because like there's Daft a whole experience, Punk, dude. Dude, they're wow. done. Now. Stop, dude. I'm Bro, literally, I'm actually hung crazy. up on that still. Dude, that video they put out crazy man. like i was like what the fuck is i that? haven't seen the video yet you gotta watch dude, it it's, pr- well, it's kind of like damn man. dude and that's the thing like even the weekend's performance like it wasn't just music it was like there was a whole Did you love it i i see i'm i'm into that like i'm into the whole theatrics i didn't get to see the whole thing and i still haven't watched it. dude it's i just watched it i thought it was sweet and then opinion like the reality is too even if he wasn't doing it as for the performance side it is the smartest marketing move they did look weird at the end because i tuned in at the yeah. end and all those well, people with fa- the face dude, thing oh on. man that was kind of weird great performance yeah. i loved it um, right, I didn't get it though. Me too. Yeah, because I tuned in late, so I was just like, 
Oh, that's weird. Yeah. I, I mean, somebody will probably know and then say something. So nobody knows why it was like that yet? Like, well, oh, their faces yeah. were like that? Was oh, yeah, yeah. The There's like a it's supposed story. to be referencing like plastic surgery mm-hmm. from what I understand about his girlfriend or his ex-girlfriend. Is it from a oh, song that's of like, his that's well, or just yeah, like that's like Actually, news. songs. He's been like, so the whole music videos, all the music videos he's released like the last year, like 2020, all like built into the story and added the story. And then his performances added to the story like, they all had specific themes. Right. Yeah. And right. from what I read, somebody analyzed it like, I don't know if this is true or me just reading stuff on the internet way too late and just being, oh, man, this is crazy oh, awesome. Man. Oh, boy. Um, but it's Whoa. like like his, it's like a talking about like the music industry and like Hollywood and it just like eats yeah, he's people slamming up. Hollywood. Yeah, he's like slamming Hollywood. Like it eats people alive, like makes them change and then spits them out once it's gotten what it's want. Like the money-making machine that is Hollywood and... I think the thing that I like really respect about the weekend is, you know, he's a business guy. Like he invested seven million dollars of his own money into that performance. Really? But it paid off because hey. the next week his sales were like four hundred percent higher. All of his streams, all of his performances, and he sold out a world tour that's booked two years out from that performance. Like Damn. crazy. You know, he that's, sold out the world okay, tour. Okay, I don't know if he sold out. I know a couple like Damn. couple dates they were like pretty much sold out. So it's like, that's crazy. That's like the most smart power move you could ever do, you yeah. know? So right. like, I respect that right. a lot. And I think, you know, I don't know. I think, I just think that's cool. And I, I really respect artists who can do that. Because everybody's sitting here like, bring Bruce Springsteen yeah, back. Like, oh, all like, the boomers. What the? Dude, oh, that's Why? the thing. All the boomers are mad. They're old, like, this is a bad performance. Like a and then I like looked up. at, like yeah. somebody shared on Facebook all the horrible halftime performances in like the seventies or eighties, they literally had an Elvis impersonator do a halftime really? show. So I'm just like, shut up, no, shit. shut up, you dumb boomer. 70s. They have some really bad performances. Just cringy. I mean, even the Black Eyed Peas. Well, like how popular yeah, was football? Can the Black back Eyed the Peas 70s? do a good like performance? No, Ooh. but they they did like a couple years ago. <laughs> then they had Slash was it a couple come up. Years Dude, ago, yeah, it, it was like that? I think not it was like, like two thousand. They're not like a group no more. Eight right? or something. No, it? dude, it was like way too. It was like. 2014 no, or 2015 they're like okay Man. you guys should not be playing the halftime show what does Fergie's like, face look like now <laughs> I don't even want to know it looks exactly the same it's all the is Botox it? all that Botox is still <laughs> I don't the know same. the body does not the face does <laughs> yeah like what the fuck <laughs> see I mean I don't know I wonder what happens though make them boys go loco I'm like what the fuck I don't even know any Black Eyed Peas songs that make fun of right now. Maybe that Where one. is the love? What's the... Do oh, they do... Dun, that's dun, 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 dun. My hump. My hump. Yeah, my humps. Yeah. Oh, my... my <laughs> I got a feeling. Lady Never humps. mind. I don't even need to. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle's, man. <laughs> man, I just... Them oh, fuckers, yeah. dude. You never oh, know. Man. One minute they're cool, next minute they're fucking punching holes in them. Man, I hope that happens to me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Woo! <Woo-hoo. laughs> First podcast, fucking hole punch. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna add some more more holes in here. Yeah, yeah, we just make it like a segment or something. Yeah. Just, like, punch <laughs> Somebody's gonna like wall. punch right into the you know yeah. stud. We'll we'll have have get some, some camera <laughs> angles we'll of it. With some we'll elevator it, music playing. We'll put an X <laughs> on the wall. <laughs> and Dude, we'll it'll be like try a, it out one shot, and if you don't get it, you don't get it. So it goes on to the next g- right? guest that comes on. But the the funny thing is, is that the X is right on, on a stud. stud. Oh. <laughs> so they can never break it. You just got people breaking their how, hands. Let's find out how dumb metalheads actually are. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can you put on some sugar for me real quick? <laughs> oh, I play a Jackson. Man. Let me punch Pantera. a hole in this real quick. That would be fucking golden, dude. <laughs> uh, <laughs> too, too bad fucking whenever you use a stud finder, it tells you it's at a different place every time you go across that wall, dude. Yeah. Most honestly. Of the time, dude. Honestly, shoot. bro. Unless you got, like, some brand new build that's got, like, just this one quarter inch fucking drywall on it or something, maybe that's going to give it to you. Yeah. Yeah. But not no fucking plaster. No No way. It's, like, different every fucking time. It's just, like, the whole thing's a stud, actually. It's just all one stud. Or it's just, like, there is no studs. And then you got to think. You're, like... It's very yeah, well. Could you're kind of like, how bad is this house? Yeah. <laughs> this, did this, this framing just get of This old house. This old house. Yeah. Well, let's see. We gotta bring out our tape measure yeah. here first. <laughs> what is that it? fucking old? Measure fuck? twice, cut once. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Remember. I remember. Measure twice, <laughs> cut once. 
<laughs> I'm putting on your safety glasses. Oh, man. <laughs> Obscured State is sponsored by Home Depot. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, wasn't that the bad one like a year ago or something? I, no like, I remember this meme. It was like Home Depot, I think, and Lowe's, was it? I don't know. And like the car was steering the other way. I don't know. They donated money to Trump or something. Maybe that's Lowe's. Hey, Rich, you want to look that up? No. My own, fuck you. The di- I, I mean, don't want to be wrong. <laughs> I don't want to be wrong. I don't want to be wrong on a podcast. How do I even look that up? Fucking, huh? How do hey, I Jamie, can you pull look that up? up? Uh, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, that fucking popped in my ear. I was like, holy shit. Hey, I don't Jamie. know what that was. <laughs> Just uh, type in uh, Lowe's Home Depot donate to Trump. See, something like that. It'll come up. The Home Depot's. It's a, or the Cracker Barrels, store. you know. I wouldn't, you know. The Cracker Barrels? They, get, they know their demographic. How often do you eat at a Cracker Barrel? Nah, dude, it's been, I think, years. How often do you eat a Cracker Barrel? Have you ever ate at one? I'm trying to, uh, dude, I don't last even. Last year was the last time last I Last year one. was yeah. the last nice. time? I was, was it good? Well, it was actually the day before quarantine. No, it wasn't kidding. bad. It was, I was road tripping back from California, and I was in Nebraska, and there's literally no other places uh, in the yeah. world to get food dude, besides that's McDonald's the, and Cracker Barrel. That's the best. <laughs> in see, the entire see, state of Nebraska. When you're in Nebraska, that's know. actually dressing up. Going that, out. It's <laughs> Applebee's or yeah. Cracker Barrel. That or you pull over on the side of the road, and you, like, jack some corn from your neighbor yeah. and, like, shuck it and eat yeah. it. Yeah. Dude, I hate driving yeah. through nebraska i always say i'm like you could fall asleep and if you could just keep this car straight you would be fine yeah, yeah but you then just... you'd wake up and you'd still just be cornered yeah did you you'd be like oh god oh yeah that's right i'm from nebraska oh, <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> same that or um, oh, did you that find wyoming it? republic world <laughs> why is this why can i home why depot can donated Hindi? millions to donald trump while lowe's donated 25 million to help the minority-owned businesses claimed by social media rating miscaptioned Oh, See, this a, is because it was, I believe, before you scroll fact-checked? down, before you scroll down, I believe it was because it was some guy, like, affiliated with Home Depot. Like, it wasn't, like, Home oh, Depot. Right. All right, scroll down. Is it on there, Rich? I don't, I'm not sure. Oh, you didn't read the whole thing yet. Okay. Social media post. Origin. Okay, scroll down to, like, where they say that, that where it's debunked or something. Lowe's just donated $25 million to help minority-owned businesses reopen. Home Depot hired around seven million. It's, are, I'm gonna be honest. I I haven't been to Lowe's very much. Are they just there? Home? It is. The co-founder of Home Depot oh. did donate seven million. That's what it was. Yeah. So don't label me with Home Depot, bruh. <laughs> I don't even All go right. to Home Depot because it's yeah. orange. I know. <laughs> I don't want to be the we guy with Lowe's orange guy. hair walking into <laughs> Home Depot. Yeah, I go to Menards a lot because it's right on oh, the yeah, fucking road. And yeah, are they local? And I just Shoot, man! Shit. I I haven't had to go to any like home improvement store in a long time. I'm pretty spoiled. That, apartment life, that musician by, life. You just dude. go buy apartment yourself life. a two by four. You deserve it right now. Oh, yeah, just oh, right, do it, brother. And then grab yourself a two by four extender while you're there, <laughs> and, yeah. a stud finder. <laughs> and a stud finder. <laughs> <laughs> and a stud finder. <laughs> there we go. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna find that two by four extender. I'm gonna right. find it. I'm gonna find it. Says yeah. there's no stud behind the wall, so I'm yeah. just gonna put one in there with this two by four real quick. I had to install the stud. After the fact, <laughs> oh my that's God. how that works, right? Yeah, that's right. This looks right, right? No, I'm getting, <laughs> right, I'm right, getting right. spoiled, man. I'm, I'm just, I don't have to do any crazy hard labor anymore. I, when I lived in California, I did roofing, and that oh. blew. Ew. That sucked. <sighs> that was Fuck horrible, it. dude. Damn. Especially like in that. I didn't know you did a roofing in California. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I mean, it was all like under the table. So IRS, if you're, he didn't to this, do any roofing. I just <laughs> don't know what roofing is. <laughs> Anyways. He said roofing, but only himself. No. <laughs> <laughs> roofing. Out there Did a in lot California. of roofing in California. In California. Just myself. You know, <laughs> uh, you know shit. It's, you know, it's, it's what I'm into. That's the made leather, a lot if the leather money. jacket didn't give it away. Yeah, he made a lot of money. <laughs> Bought me this leather jacket. It's real premium cal- happy Californian cow. It's vegan, actually. It's vegan. It's made, it's made from vegans? kombucha. <laughs> kombucha. Oh, the kombucha leather. <laughs> kombucha leather? I, I don't know. Was, I saw tofu? somebody try to do that. It's tanned tofu. And they like it was in their bathtub because it like they didn't have a big enough spot to keep it, so they kept it in their bathtub. The vegan? Mm. <laughs> yes. No. 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 The the kombucha. Oh, like the mother culture. Okay. And I'm like, more. that's gross. Oh, you're talking about the scoby. Yeah. 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 The scoby. Bac- it's the bacteria from kombucha. Mm. It is yeah. not a pretty. I, made, I do love kombucha me of though. Sobe. 
Man, with the lizards on it? Yeah. Yeah, so my, my oldest sister. No, I don't think so. What my old, I don't know. They probably they might under. be. Maybe. I had one like a year ago. I had one Did sometime you? last year. Dude, I think they only have like a certain amount of flavors. See, they probably got bought out by someone, but I remember when I was a kid, right. my sister like is like 10 years. Yeah, that's not surprising at all. I, that's like. Hey. What? A Coke owns everyone. Coca Cola. Coca Cola. Yeah, Coca-Cola. they they own. They're a huge corporation. Right. It's crazy. But we all gotta be less white. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Ooh. Dr Ooh. Pepper. <laughs> but <laughs> we all gotta be. Less they had like the the. <laughs> Can you believe that, dude? It's holy I'm, shit. I don't even want to touch that with a ten foot pole. That's crazy, dude. What? Well, LinkedIn took all those things down. There Bro, was this. Didn't see there was this. There's no. this Coca Cola yeah, had you, this thing. You got it right. Some, you stay off some diversity trend. Yeah, we're definitely not gonna add this in the podcast. Um, but <laughs> they have to be in there. Oh fuck <laughs> me, dude! It's freaking. I don't edit shit. <laughs> oh, really? No. Oh fuck! Is that right? All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. No, dude, goes, I'm, right. I'm like, I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> My thoughts. Sp- <laughs> no, when I said edits earlier, I mean like I put together like, uh, like just kind of like a cold open or like a trailer, mm. as in, and it's just like it's just meant to be funny. Oh, okay. So it's like a bunch of takes. Of oh, I was talking about stuff. Yeah, yeah. laughing at Jimmy, the Rev yeah, Sullivan. Whatever. Every yeah. time how, how Noah many, says "fuck me," just yeah, back dude. to back. <laughs> just so like, that's how it starts beep, beep, beep. out. Yeah, yeah. You have to go look. How many? How many Avenged Sevenfold me, fans listen to the, me, your podcast? Me. I don't He's know. Dead. I hope none. <laughs> well, uh, if you're uh, if you're an Avenged Sevenfold fan, you can stop now. <laughs> I just they really probably stopped like a long them. time ago. I just really don't like the vocalist. Honestly, that's what it is, it's dude. The he's, he's got that major Chad energy. I, I don't like it. He, he was he like was it. good before City of Evil, though. <coughs> you think so? Yeah, because he did, just, he did mostly screams. We just says, <laughs> he didn't ha- he didn't oh, have yeah, that nasally not- sound in his voice. Because he was just doing nothing but screams. <laughs> so, really? So yeah. catchy. I would have to listen like to the album. Waking the Fallen. That's their that's their best. Too bad best we can't album. fucking play it on here. Right. It, get but, muted. But that's when they were good. Oh yeah, we're gonna mute you too. Now that we're famous, huge rock stars. <laughs> we should have a mute button for everybody. You just you get like a ten second mute. You just, like now you're muted. For yeah, you're done. <laughs> you're done with getting that. The, getting the penalty I box. I like that. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Yeah, you say some dumbass shit like. Yeah. No, nah, we'll just leave it up to Rich. <laughs> Actually, he could do it right. He's actually muted us the whole time. (laughs) Probably do it. Fuck you guys. He can do it. Honestly, yeah, there is a uh, mute button. So he he muted. You guys want to know? Hey, Jamie, we're not even recording right now. (gasps) Are you fucking with us? I'm joking. Oh, Oh! God, he he said that so like, dude. He was scared. (laughs) I was literally about. No, he said it like he was like, I don't know how they're gonna react to this, guys. Like, dude, that was a good one, dude. <laughs> Damn. I'm like, we can't recreate Jeez, anything that was good. Here. Man, <laughs> that a, was bro. great, dude. Dude. That was pretty good. That was good. I was chilling either way. Like, don't worry, Rich. I was... Yeah. I believed in you. No, I was just like, what? <laughs> Holy shit, really? <laughs> like, what are you doing back there? <laughs> you asshole. You don't want to know. <laughs> Get off RuneScape. We're, we're yeah, doing I'm stuff right now. RuneScape. I'm looking hey, at dude, midget I know, you're, <laughs> I know your World of Warcraft clan is about to kick some ass over there, but... RuneScape. Oh, yeah, Damn. Dude, RuneScape. Holy I shit. totally got in trouble when I was like 12 no, or 13. Man. You know, growing up in a little more church con- community, RuneScape was like, was bad, even though we could watch Lord of the Rings. It was bad? Well, because there was magic. I just remember just being this fucking game. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I I love that, but my mom was like, they use magic, so you can't play it. But. Oh, did I hit it? Oh, okay. Damn it. But yeah, I made my own RuneScape account, and my mom caught me. Did she? Yeah, and she got, I probably got grounded or something. So, your parents, so your parents are like really religious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, definitely. Yours too? Still, or like they're like, yeah, my parents. I mean, they're definitely yes relaxed. No. I would imagine they're so more relaxed, they're pretty chill. Yeah, like I cuss around them and they don't really care. Yeah, can you cuss around your parents? Uh, my mom doesn't like it, my dad doesn't. I don't, I don't think he gives a shit anymore because you, you don't think. Well, he swears so he, too sometimes, right. you know, and it's sometimes, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, just it's like, and you're like, like, yeah, I'm just like, yeah, yeah, he swears. And my mom has definitely chilled. I remember like when I was 18 and I had moved, like, I was visiting them and I was like. Like, I was like, oh, shit. And my mom was like, oh, Noah, you swore. And I was like, I, I do live in a different state, and I am a grown-up. 
That happens, mom. Yeah. <laughs> and you said shit, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I didn't. Like, I understand. I like, like oh, you're going around I? your parents, not just, like, f- flopping around yeah, the I mean, bomb and shit. I use well, the... Fuck and fuck, you know. Right. I think so, I use like, the shit. Words like, family. come on, man. Shit, uh, yeah. Yeah. Shit's just... I don't even think that's, like, a bad word. Like, so I, I do so what, a lot of talk text, and it'll spell that one. Right. Versus all the other... Like, a lot of other words, it won't. So did you ever, like... When was, like, the first time you, like, swore on your parents? Oh, dude, I was totally a punk kid. So I definitely probably did it as a teenager and got, oh, really? got I didn't until grounded. I was, like, 21. Really? Yeah. And then you were, like, the first time you threw it out, you are like, let's see how this goes, right? Dude, kind you? of. It kind of <laughs> went with... Because I kind of remember. I was like that, too. I was yeah. like, shit. It was something along the lines nothing, of, like... Nothing. Okay, cool. I don't really give a fuck. <laughs> What you Ooh, think? So yeah. it wasn't. It wasn't even okay, like it wasn't. It, was like it wasn't even like a damn or like a what the hell. It was just like I don't give a fuck. And oh. that was the first time I swore. So it wasn't a heated, damn. It was a heated exchange. Yeah. So yeah, you wouldn't be able to read the room afterwards because the room is red. Yeah. It's <laughs> it is very red. It's looking like Six Flags yeah, up in no here. No shit. Yeah. No yeah. way. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So now I can get away with anything since I did the worst <laughs> thing possible. Yeah, you gotta set that bar pretty high. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't really swear in front of my parents too much, but it's like you know, I talk how I talk. I think. Yeah. So, but. Well, me and my dad is a totally different story. Oh yeah. We both just swear. Like, yeah, it's just as it all is. the fucking time. Yeah. 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 Well, and you know, West Michigan is so like. Weird. It's weird. <laughs> it's weird. Yeah. It is. It is weird here, man. It is weird. <laughs> Yeah. Just compared to like I remember the first time my dad he's seen that I was smoking cigarettes, right? Yeah. When I was like sixteen. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. And he comes in and, and I was apparently I was sleeping or whatever. I fell asleep and my cigarettes were out. And oh. I got up in the morning and I was like, Oh shit. Like, like they're gone? No, they're there. Oh, okay. Whew. But I looked where my dad like yeah. he was like across the hall. We were living yeah. at somebody's house and he was yeah. like across the hall and he's like, I took a couple of your cigarettes last night because I ran out. <laughs> and you're just like <laughs> okay <laughs> what all right <laughs> you're like okay it's not all a bad right. deal yeah, you're like right. thanks for not that's, taking that's them all that's better than being grounded i guess yeah, okay <laughs> well, we're good there yeah i mean he already knew i smoked pot and shit before oh yeah dude so, my parents would have killed me but he was he was the type that like i'd rather i'd rather you tell me what you're gonna about to go do yeah. like if you're gonna go to a party yeah let me know you're going to a party yeah, See, that way I fucking know. Yeah, I can come. He's picked me and my wife up, you know, back when because nice. me and my wife have been going on 15 years. Oh, congratulations, yeah. dude. Yeah. That is That's awesome. Crazy, Hell yeah. That's awesome. what's up, dude. So, like, we were like, I was a sophomore, she was a freshman. Yeah, and like, he would like be picking us up yeah. from like parties and yeah, stuff yeah. Just so we wouldn't drive drunk or yeah. anything. So, yeah. See, my parents always said that. Like, they're like, you know, if you ever can't drive, we, we'll pick you up. You know, and that was like, I never took them up on that. No. I was, like, scared of them. Yeah. So I would literally just spend the night wherever I was partying. You know? Yeah. Just, yeah. Like, so <laughs> that's, you know, that was when I was a little punk kid. And, yeah, yeah, I never I never took them up on that. But, like, that's also because my, my mom literally cried when she saw I got my ears pierced when I turned 18. Really? Yeah, my sister did them. <laughs> so she was, okay, she didn't like cry cry, but she's like, what did you do? And like, had a couple of tears, I was like, um, you know, I'm sorry, mom. Holy but, shit. Dude, you, then I forgot I had a tattoo. Cry? Yeah. Oh, and then I was yeah. like wearing shorts and I was like, they're like, is that a tattoo? And I was like, oh shit, yeah, that's a tattoo. Yeah. Problem was it was done that's in the back, like, back of a van. That's kind of like my wife where she got her belly button pierced. Yeah. But it wasn't, you know, by a fucking pier. Somebody who does Whoa, it. It was like dude. the old safety pin and shit. Oh, her and her God. friends and stuff. Right? So she does that. And her dad was like really against, uh, you know, getting all that. So she yeah. hid it from him for a long time. Yeah. And then one time they like went on vacation or somewhere. Yeah. And they're... You know, she only had like a two piece or something bathing suit. Right. She's like, oh crap. She's like, oops. Here it is. And it was kind of like one of those things I think she tells me where like he didn't really say much, but she could tell, you know, like, oh, oh yeah. shit, everything's yeah. ruined. Oh no. Yeah, dude, Damn. Oh, no. Man. He probably blamed it on you too. He's like, dating that boy. No, she had this done before we got together. Oh, nice, dude. Yeah. Same thing. I think she did that with her ear too. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Fucking crazy, man. I wouldn't do that shit to myself. I yeah. Hell no. Shoot, man. I've done a lot of, like, my I ears, don't have a tattoo, ears. actually. Really? No. Nope. That's crazy, man. I wouldn't have guessed that. 
But yeah. these days, though, it's safe to assume like at least everyone has like one tattoo. I think it's a pretty high percentage. Of people it's, that not, yeah. Kyle. <laughs> not Kyle. Not Kyle. Not Kyle. Not Kyle. How many not tattoos Kyle. do you have, Richard? Rich? How many you got, bro? I have three. Three. three? What do you got? Uh, I'm at five. Five. Okay. Well, got you got like what, uh, five on your arm right there, right? <laughs> I think I have 12. 12? I think so. Yeah, All I got right. some on my leg. I mean, it helps Bryn has, like, friends who do tattoos. Yeah, I lived with two tattoo artists. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, They're, nice. like, here. Yeah, so they, I got let I got me, quite a few practice. while they were <laughs> getting practice on me. So They turned out really good, though. Yeah, Shout they, out to they, Evan. Did they start so out upset. with, like, you Justin, know, jailhouse Justin, setups Justin. and stuff like that, too? Did they what? Start out with, like, jailhouse setups and stuff like that, too? Or they start out with, like, legit guns? Um, Cause my buddy's, like, really good now, and he's starting to get, like, a whole legit. Yeah. And But he started out with, like, jailhouse. Dude, yeah, that yeah. Was my the first hand tattoo. I have a well, bunch of hand He did that, hope, but, yeah. no, he did, like, you know, just these shitty-ass setups, too. Like, he just, like, you know. Like, oh, yeah. He, he learned it. Yeah, look, that was like my first tattoo was like that, which was super dumb. But he's so like sketchy. stellar. He was She's good like, with it. I then, saw this but... on Pinterest. Let me tattoo your leg oh real quick. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Do you <laughs> know this girl did body it? is my canvas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's something she would say. Shout out to you, Liv, if you listen to this. <laughs> Not sorry. I got it covered your up a year later and she's still pissed about it. Um but uh, she lived in a van and like she did the tattoo terms. in that van. Oh yeah, we're I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I don't care, I guess. Like, what are you going to do? Be mad at me? Yeah. But no, we were cool. She's a homie, but she gave me this tattoo that I drew in the in the back of her van that she lived in. And it was the most sketchy, like, shank setup ever, dude. So yeah. stupid. And, like, that was the tattoo my parents saw. So not only was it a not good tattoo in the <laughs> sense of, like, compared to all the tattoos I have now, but it was just so, like, the story behind it is just ridiculous, you know? Yeah. yeah. No so, kidding. Yeah. No, but they were all good. All mine. Are, all of yours look so good. Yeah. A couple of them are super good at hand pokes, and so I have a couple really, like, clean Real. hand pokes. And then uh, I got the Rolling Stones mouth on my leg that's... Uh, it looks so good. My buddy did it by hand, and every time I'm like, yeah, that's a hand poke. People are like, what? And I'm like, yeah. Dude, I couldn't Real. believe it yeah. when he showed it to me for the first time. I was like, what But I mean, I have a heck, couple bro? that we did in my kitchen... <laughs> at like one in the morning where I was just like sitting on the kitchen counter and people are like walking in they're like what are you doing I'm like eyes oh, giving me a tattoo as he's like me on my leg and I'm like, yeah. oh man so no shit a that, couple kitchen magician tattoos yeah but. come on that's how I got my slipknot tattoo oh, like, oh, that is the yeah. most slipknot thing I've ever heard <laughs> <laughs> but yeah my buddy came over to my my apartment here in Holland and just he free handed it yeah okay he free handed my uh, mushroom head tattoo too oh nice man do you uh do you ever get into the arguments of people who's like Slipknot versus Mushroom Head or whatever? No, or do they I, not do that anymore? Certain people do, but if they do, I'm like Slipknot all the way because Slipknot's my favorite band. Oh, dude, and I mean, if you just look at not to be like the numbers guy, but if you just look at the amount of numbers of people who still listen to Slipknot versus Mushroom Head, it's you know through yeah, the roof. It tells, yeah, stands the test of time, I guess. The test of time. The test of time. So you think, uh, test of time, you think this is going to stand the test of time? Oh, here? yeah. I think it can. Dude, yeah, I think it can too. I mean, so how, how many more songs do you guys got? Do we, you guys got any like done in the we, work? Or we have, most have of like them in the works, three or? in the works, I guess. Yeah. We have like four. So we're not going to release any new music for a little bit, like maybe one or two tracks this summer, a couple, yeah. like two singles, but then... Start building we, for like a... Yeah, we already are talking EP or... with um, like the crew who helped us do our album. So it's like our buddy Davey, who did this first record, and Travi. So they own this record label. Travi is like the owner of this label called X3 Records. So they are a studio, but they're also a record label. Shout out X3. Shout out to Shout X3. Out. Y'all are family. Shout out to X3. Even though we're not signed to you guys. Yeah. But um, <laughs> we're going to be doing some moving and some traveling. Who the hell so. did that? I was, I was, I was <laughs> giving some kisses. <laughs> the boys oh, always get kisses. That's right. The, boys. the homies. Um, but we're probably going to, maybe, we're shooting for September to record the next one. I don't know if that's realistic or not. But Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking fall So the next one. Yeah, and we'll, we'll okay. probably sit on that one for a little bit just to like build the release and like 
you know, you have to get social media content. Yeah, well, you got posting. a couple. You got you got a couple out. You yeah, know, to show what you're about. Yeah, we just we know. just dropped the one, and then if people are friends of ours who like shared that song with three friends and sent us a screenshot, we were like, okay, here's a like private unlisted link to one of our other songs. Right. Um, but the album's gonna have five songs on it. Um, I think Girls is the first one. Girls is first. Morning yep. label is morning second. Label, yeah. Ooh, morning label. Should we say the that cover too? Cool. Yeah. Oh, we we have a sick. Ooh, we really? probably shouldn't spoil the cover. I kind of want to. Let's do it. Let's do it because. Man. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. You say it. Do you want, okay. Yes. Yeah, hold, so hold, hold, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Rich. Uh, uh, we could pull roll. it up. Drum roll. Yeah. Can we have that drum roll? Yeah. Hey, Jamie. Can you pull that up? <laughs> <laughs> and our third song is a cover of Weedus. Yes. Teenage Dirtbag. Teenage yeah. Dirtbag. Class. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> we just were like. <laughs> That song was the Thank first you, song yeah. we recorded, actually, in California. <laughs> we got it done. Everything tracked and finished in 50 minutes. The whole song was done. Yeah, front to back. Song, like, I won, minutes. one took the guitar solo, and it was, like, just messed up. Like, there's, like, a wrong note in there. And then our buddy Dave was like, oh, it's perfect. Keep it. And I was like, oh, that's messed yeah, up, but I right. Keep it, like... Keep it. He was like, I don't want to fuck with this. No yeah, more. No, <laughs> we're like 50 minutes in. But I was like impressed. We crushed it. We were like in there and out. One song done. Not even an, an hour. Just Damn, crazy. So you just got that one hourly rate there? No, we. Or you we, all get they, discount. We're not going to say the discount, but oh, we the homies hooked it up. The homies hooked it up. They, they hooked it up a little bit. They made it worth our while. I mean, like. Yeah. So you, but you're dry, you're flying out to California to no, do this because you referenced out, they're flying out to us, I think. Oh, oh, for the first album, yeah, for, yes. for the, we flew out. There. Yeah, we flew. Oh, out there. they're gonna fly to you from there. We did two eight-hour sessions. That's right. And that's right. You fly times. to me. Yeah, yeah. That's but right. yeah, we we recorded <laughs> all five <laughs> songs. In you're talking to Celio Drive. That's, that's right, baby. <laughs> Wait, where are my shades? I'm gonna, you know. Yeah, yeah. I'll put the Morpheus. <laughs> I want to wear these things, you know, dude. Um, but yeah, we Bro. literally recorded. <laughs> oh, that's a look, dude. That's fits you gang, way gang. better. That means like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll get some better shades. Oh, I'll get the camera. What if I just turn way them the other side? Hey, that's the move. There you go. That's how my glasses sit normally on my face <laughs> because my nose is a little crooked. It's great weather. So. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I need to turn my head just a little bit to the just side so like it flat. Bro. So that it like balances out. I'm waiting for the red or blue pill. Yeah. <laughs> Can I just no, take you both? don't look as much like Morpheus. You look like Morpheus when you put it on. Leather. It's the leather jacket. Yep. Um, mm. Shoot, what were we talking about the first record? Yeah, we just yeah. recorded all of it in like 16 hours. Bam, bro, Two eight-hour days. 16 hours? Yeah. Yeah. Five songs. Five songs. So you got five songs. Five songs. Five yeah. songs. Five yep. songs, yep. dude. So yeah, you do have some. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Hit me is after a teenage dirt bag, and then you should pray is like the ballad. Oh, yeah, dang. dude. That the might emotional be emotional ballad. <sighs> That's that song might be my my number one or number two. That I love that song. That song was fun. That song dang. just everybody um, nobody can hear it though. Nobody can nope. <laughs> Not for like another no, fuck month. Fuck yeah, man. A yeah. month? Uh, yeah. It comes out in April. Oh, it does. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah I thought yeah. you said you were gonna release anything in Paul. Oh no, that's the second album. Oh, the second. Yeah, album. we've already like planned for the second album. Like, okay, so they're gonna fly they're here flying though out. for uh, the second album. I think Nashville. Oh, Nashville. So you guys are gonna meet up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So meet up in Nashville. Yep. And we you're gotta do the second album. When, uh, so when are you gonna be going? Because I know that takes some time. So is that coming up soon? No. Nah, so that you guys well, are gonna fly in or no? We like well, the singles. Well, were all I don't know. I guess here. it's again, it's not bands. See, so and it's that's different. the thing. That's what's so really I was gonna nice. say. It takes some time, you know, drums, all that. But no, you really nah, don't. I mean, need to. Sometimes like cooking up in the studio. Sometimes like coming up with the beat does take. Like I think that's yeah. the thing that takes the most time for us. But you guys are doing that now, though, right? Yeah. So we are actually writing. Because, um, again, you can do stuff. everything at home, See? so you can pretty much yeah. have, like, what you want, right? Yeah. When you go into pretty the studio, much. you're not going down there to the studio and, like, okay, what are we going to write? Are you? Uh, we do that, too. Uh, we did that on the first one. Yeah. <laughs> right. Because you had the opportunity. You had yeah, the opportunity. we had the chorus of Girls had... and the chorus of Hate Me. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you're like, let's it. put it together yeah. with some other guys' ears. Yeah, and, well, it's the thing, because yeah. it's, like, yeah. help you out. You, you yeah. Know? A little, yeah, they helped me out a little bit. I think it was, like, 
Brandon, five Brandon's a good I, mean, yeah, I really don't want to hire somebody to do that for me. It's just going to sit there like a brick fucking wall and just be like, Dude, well, tell me when to hit record. That's literally yeah. so many producers. <laughs> well, that's the thing of like, I really don't want, like, I want somebody, I would want somebody to be like, hey, you have a little more flavor here if you did a well, and, here. You and know, that's why yeah. like, just, we you love know. working with our boy oh, Davey yeah, and Travi because it's like, you know, we're, it's, the problem is in the room, normally your band is, you know, drummer, bassist, guitarist, other guitarist, singer. For us, it's, vocalist producer 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 yeah. so it's just like everyone who writes songs is just chilling in the room the whole time you, you know bud? yeah i'll take another bud i'm probably not gonna finish it but but so it's like it's you know it's a fun experience of like the whole room is just full filled with good songwriters so it's like you know for the most part me and brennan are doing like most of the work as far as like when we come up with the idea you know the guitar the melodies the the chords you know that's like all us so like that's and then the lyrics you know, that's the bulk of the song, and then right. we'll, we all collaborate on the beat. I mean, Davey and Travi, are, they've been doing this way longer than I have, and they're they're good, for sure. Yeah, they're so very good. They're super talented. So it's like, that's kind of our team. Like, that's who we like working with. And no, but I really think, like, we were talking, or like I asked you. Oh, we you, definitely were. <laughs> like I, not, yeah. We're talking. We're talking. We're talking. We're talking. Oh, so, 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 dude. So we, I really do think once you guys get, get it all down pat though um coming up with like some sort of like acoustic version of the song dude it's funny you say that we uh Cause we're in the it's funny you say that because oh. we're just talking about it <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah hey. you're not wrong he knows <laughs> yeah i know because i brought it up uh, well unless you guys are talking about it beforehand but i said like if you got you know but hey you know we yeah do, we, we sh- you guys need to do that though, because I think you know, even if it wasn't like I was obviously picturing girls in in my head because that's the, the one I've listened to the most. Yeah. yeah. But um, you know, it, any of your other ones that we haven't heard of, whichever one works better, that would be good. We're you know for sure doing girls. That one's for sure, for sure doing, coming out. Yeah, yeah, that's we're gonna drop that like I think two. Well, records. that whole one was written on acoustic. Yeah. And it's in drop C. Okay. It's a weird... Well, it's like a hybrid. Tune. So you got one already done. Uh, uh, we're recording the, it we're this reco- week. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. So, all right. Saturday? Because that one's... Or uh, I think Saturday or Friday. Yep. Friday. He knows the dates. I just show up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my buddy uh, Hunter, who's Maybe. produced for some like local bands. So it's coming out how long? So the album comes out in like a month, and then the acoustic but, but, version of Girls comes out in like two or three weeks after that. Okay. All right. So it's that one's super. It's gonna be super stripped down, super basic, just like guitar, vocals, and <laughs> what? Why are you flipping us off? <laughs> That's why you didn't want to do it. <laughs> he started. He started at you first. Yeah, he's like, he's like, your guys are like, we can't do it yet. Do what? Do an acoustic. Oh yeah, we could do a different version. one. Yeah, you that's could what do an I said. Version well, of that's what I said. I was like, you guys could do a different one. I was like, I don't care. You could do it. I get high, right? Oh, you want no, to? I don't have an acoustic oh, car. Fuck. You guys would have had to bring one. <coughs> yeah, that's not Neither of you have one, huh? Yeah, we have. We have a couple of guitars. We have a lot of guitars between us. Do you? So you got a few acoustics? Yeah, Brennan yeah. has a sick breed love. Yeah, I have a breed love <laughs> and an Ibanez acoustic. Yeah, and then. No, um, I get it though. That's so. Yeah, that's, I get it though. Yeah, dude, you want to save it for that release. Oh yeah. No, I mean we're. We're so stoked on it, and it's just, like, <coughs> you have to, like, figure out your engagement, because, like, you know, we're, we're really big into just, like, if you like our music, hang out with us, like, we're, you know, and so we yeah. wanted to do a cover of that, because people would be, it's, like, well-received, and that's just, you know, we're just dudes hanging out, making fun music, and yeah. we want people to, like... And you know, the acoustic, like, the acoustic, because there's, there's an intro, there's a verse, there's a pre-chorus, and there's a chorus guitar part. Right, and they're they were all like written on the acoustic. So, as an acoustically stripped song, it sounds very pretty. Yeah, even though it's like in a hybrid drop C tuning, which is kind of weird right. for a pop song. But yeah. <laughs> and well, that's really... what bringing the you know both the elements in. Yeah, yeah. I oh, mean, yeah. it's obviously much more pop, much more oh, mainstream. Yeah. yeah, you have your elements in there. You know, like this last one, you got your guitar, but it, you know, you just got like you know, you know, you get your power chords back yeah. there to back it up yep. yeah i mean it's there but um i think you know these two dudes creating some music and stuff people want to know a little bit more about you guys yeah okay so i think we should do some rapid fire questions let's do it dude i'm hey, so down I think my, uh, 
Oprah sitting out there on the old, uh, <laughs> right up there. Bitch. Ooh, man, are you ready to pass this Rapid test? Fire. I didn't, didn't study for Brr. this one. Brr. 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 I got Google on my phone. I'll just look up all the answers that Michael Hit B. Jordan would say. Way too many then, questions. <laughs> oh, man, that's an entire notebook of questions. Shoot, how'd you guys get this song of ours already? All right, All right bro. Damn, that was supposed to be in so, the summer. All right, fire, this is rapid dude. fire, so we gotta try and saw it. So, <laughs> dude, so you gotta like answer these questions like fucking fast, and we're all gonna say it like this, dude. Oh, I vote Hell that yeah, now, dude. Dude. So, so do we like say that at like the same time, dude. or are we like spacing out? Right? No, we'll, we'll, we'll spice it out. I'll, I'll spice start out. with yeah, you. Yeah. I'll dude. start with you, Brian. Oh. No, I'm going, yeah. No. <laughs> Die. Okay? All right. All right. All right, hit me, Raj. <laughs> Not for real. Time. What's your favorite food? Pad Thai. Sushi. What's your favorite color? Purple. Blue. What's your biggest fair? My Failure. Biggest. Rejection. <laughs> I'm sorry, I looked at you and fucked you up. What pisses you off most? Um, judgment. What pisses me off the most? Yes. Uh, hypocrisy. Anal or vaginal? Vaginal. Straight up vaginal, my guy. Eaten by zombies or suck five dicks in a row? A zombie me. <laughs> Yeah, dude, I think, I, I think I'm going to zombie. I think I'm going out with a bang on that one. You don't want to live, bud? Just shut me up, <laughs> God, dude. So hard. After 2020, I'm good with dying. When's the last time you took a shot? This morning. Yeah, same this morning. This morning. One thing you'll never do again. Give me a buzzer, Rich. Shit. Uh, suck five dicks instead of being eaten <laughs> by zombies. Wait a minute. You've done that before? Shit. Holy shit. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, get eaten by zombies. zombies. Your house, her house, or neither when you lost virginity. Oh, fuck. Neither. <laughs> her, her house. When her... was it? What? When oh, was dude. it? When? Yeah. <laughs> oh. You don't have to answer. Go ahead. Uh, I was like 20 or 21. Why are you lying? I'm being dead ass. <laughs> <laughs> For real. I'm getting fish sticks or fish, up. fish sticks or fish fillets. Fish fillet. Oh, fish fillet. BK or McDonald's. McDicks. Mickey Dicks. Pepsi or Coke. Pepsi. Lacroix. Loser. Yeah. You're shipwrecked, but have all human needs. What two items do you want with you? Wait, what was the question? You have all human needs. What two items do you want with you on an island? Oh, my PC and a guitar. I'm going to say the same thing. My guitar and a computer. That sounds great. <laughs> All right, guys. Woo. I specifically Woo. want my PC, though. Specifically. Right. Wow, that music made that so much more yeah. intense. Oh, my Didn't gosh, it? dude. I had anxiety today. I, I was like, I was oh, like oh, you were oh, asking oh, questions. Oh. I felt like my brain was just blanking, and I was like, I can't think because I have this like theatrical ass <laughs> music just blasting in my ears. I had to make you sweat. I feel like I I'm in a Mad Max sweat. chasing oh. scene. I had to make you sweat. <laughs> oh, that was good. Guy. I feel warm. That was good. Yeah. Maybe it was warm. Let's give him another clap, Rich. Let's give him another clap. Yeah. Yeah. But really, let's just all laugh at Brennan real quick, Rich. Let's just all laugh. At him. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like my childhood upbringing. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, We're about man. to get deep. <laughs> Just kidding. Know, That's a joke. Deep. That's a joke. No, no. I think I think people, you know, could get a good scope from those questions. Yeah, you absolutely. Know, what, what kind of people you are. Yeah, I think the Thai food and the vaginal really balanced it out <laughs> they for me. Do. Yeah. <laughs> They Same. They're like Thai they food. Do. This guy's crazy. Vaginal? Oh, he's totally normal. He's what? totally he's just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that one. That was definitely out of left field, but he's all right. Yeah, you get a guy that comes out here who's like, I prefer anal. Like, oh, <laughs> this guy. Everyone's just like, <laughs> okay, here's the thing, though. You know the guy that says anal is also going to be the guy that says, oh, I'd suck the five dicks. Not, you, know what I mean? yeah. you know those no two problem, guys. Baby. You know no those problem. two guys. 
are the same person. That's true. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. It's gonna suck the fight. Hey, Rich, can you remember what Clint answered? Because I think <laughs> he said he'd Clint suck Franklin? five dicks. Yeah. yeah. From, so, oh, what's yeah, up, dude? Yeah. He said he'd suck five dicks in a row. I can't remember what he said. I think he said he said anal for pleasure, van, vaginal for get having uh, a baby? regularity or something like that. I don't know, something like oh, that. He, oh, like anal's like a treat. Oh, anal's a treat. Yeah. Anal <laughs> is a treat. And something like that. So he didn't quite cross the whole bridge, but he was halfway on. <laughs> he would survive a zombie apocalypse. He'd be yeah. fine. He's Anal like, or he, vaginal? He's a, yes. It, <laughs> can I just oh, say yeah, both? Yeah. Dude, you could have. It would have passed. Nobody's ever said yes. <laughs> both. Nobody's ever said both either. It's so funny. Nobody's I would say ever... blowjob, but. <laughs> oh, well. All it's right. hard to get that's a good Richard. answer when you have that's a good one, Hans Richard. Zimmer blasting <laughs> Sir Richard. He likes the suction. Oh, right. Well, ah. you know what I just found he out today? the vacuum. You want to hear <laughs> some? Blood you like nine. You want to hear some fun information that I found Sir, out she's today? Gone from some What's some fun information? That the um the skin in the mouth is the same type of skin in a vagina. No. Uh. Yeah. So so we all have vagina skin. Yeah. Everyone's like touching their tongue to their cheek right now. Like oh. All right. I was not, <laughs> definitely wasn't doing that. What the <laughs> before you said that? Yeah. Really? So technically, technically, you don't. Technically, you prefer vaginal over blowjobs. Then, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, fine definition, I guess. Did he say maybe? Yeah, <laughs> my my girlfriend would disagree. <laughs> <laughs> well, good thing we're not okay. interviewing her. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Sir Richard. Just kidding. Bring her out. It's Rich's girlfriend. Hey, Jamie, yeah. pull that up. Here she quick. comes. <laughs> we have a question Here to ask comes. you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sir Richard, play that music again. We're going to do way too many questions with you. No, I'm just kidding. All right, <laughs> bud. <What>? No. <laughs> Would you rather no. suck five dicks? <laughs> Ten. <laughs> or four? <laughs> Or four. Or four. <laughs> There's no getting out of it now. Yeah, four and a half, you have to say. You just corner him on every question. <laughs> He's like, I actually do nine. <laughs> He's like, no both. Shit. <laughs> that would All be of them. <laughs> <laughs> All of them. Ten will do my own as well. Yeah, I don't know, man. That's, shit, Marilyn yeah. Manson style. Dude, that would be a fucking... Dude, I think... I think... Can we just say... I think... What? No one is surprised about him getting arrested. Who? Marilyn Manson. When did he oh, get arrested? Yeah. He oh, got okay, arrested? I don't think he's gotten arrested. But I thought FBI, that dude's been in jail for like the 20 FBI years. The FBI is like looking into him actually being a rapist. How crazy is that? So do they have him like in custody? He really? looks like I a vampire. Know. You can't look yeah, like yeah. a vampire dude, and not be into kids. Can who I else? There like was like bandmates and stuff, former bandmates of him coming out saying like he's yeah. a fucking controlling well, piece like of shit Wes too. Like Wes Borland from Limp Bizkit? Yeah, like, that's, yeah. What, that's the one I was yeah. referencing yeah. to. I was trying to think of the name, but good call. Yeah, he's yeah. the one that came out too. But I mean, I don't know. They're all fucking crazy, man. Dude, that's well, what, what thing, surprises like, me is everyone's surprised about it. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, you know, usually you don't that's, expect. That's like, usually the, like, wait, I, what? the fact that it was like really he nice doubled down. He hair? legit yeah. was like his portrayal of like what he did on stage was actually re real, you know. And like usually, you know, I always think of like Ghost. Like that dude's probably just a normal dude. Yeah. You know, and then that's just their gimmick for stage, you know. Right. Yeah. Turns out Marilyn Manson was not a gimmick, and that is just who Marilyn Manson is. Yeah. You know, that's crazy to me. Yeah, no. Because <laughs> it's like, I no, could never... That's crazy to me, though. I'm just I mean, like, you know, know, like, yeah, come on. Shoot, I used to think about being a performer, and it's just like, I mean, it's not that it's a different person who's up on stage, but it's like a different side of me, you know, a little bit. So I can't oh, imagine sure. being like... Well, it's not your everyday everyday life. Right. Like, yeah. You know, you're not just well, doing and, this persona. Yeah. Well, and that's why I think... I think I'm not was, going through everyday life going like, yeah, I'm in, playing the drums. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. like, yes. And just every day is like, fuck yeah, yeah. another show. No. You know, I usually sing everything. My whole life is like Les Miserables or that movie where they just sing the whole Brennan thing. Brennan lives a really? Disney movie. Yeah. 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 My life is frozen. Dude, honestly. I am Elsa. Dude, I go. sing a lot. <laughs> I sing a lot too. I'm bad just at nonstop. I don't know. Like, it sucks, but I sing a lot. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm pretty. Sometimes my daughter's like, "Will you stop?" She's like, stop, "Dad, daddy, shut stop, up." Daddy. Like, no, this is good. I'm like, no, this is good. I have this. I do have an acoustic guitar, but it's missing the high string, and it's like kind of tuned a little bit. Oh. So I'm like, "That's okay." You know? What'd you say? <laughs> I said, "You don't need that one anyway." <laughs> 
<laughs> but I'll just sit there and be like, no, nah, man, I'm in key right now. <laughs> and I'm like, she's like, no, you're not. I'm like, yeah. No. Yeah. 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 Give me food. Give me fire. Give me. Ah. <laughs> 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 Dude, I wish I could do the corn one so badly, dude. I just... Oh, Corey Alexander can do it from. Oh, he uh, can. You know him too. Oh, what from... band is he playing? He, well, he was in that. Dude, fight. I was always dreaming. Yep. He's in Halo Fire now. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're friends. You're, you're probably. Are. That's that's a small scene. He can do it. He was on the podcast. No way. Oh, did dude. he do it on the podcast? Yes, he Shoot, did. I'm gonna have to look at that one. That's sounds yes. bad, man. I can't do any of the cool impressions. Yeah, Rich, were you here? Either. You weren't here for that one, were you? Yes, I was. You were? Yes. Yes, you were. Rich's yeah, because that was, was after Ken here. Frank for sure. Yeah. Yeah, dude, he can do it for legit, right? Rich. That's rad, yeah. dude. Dude, it's so funny. So, Sir Richard. Clint, if you hear this, we, one of your coworkers is friends of ours, Dalton. Who? Mine? No. Um, oh, I thought you said. No, Clint. So one of his buddies. Clint? Yeah. From Frank. New Corruptor? Oh. Because you're saying he could do the impression. But. No, he can't. Oh, he can't? No, no not that Clint. Oh, yeah. okay. All right. Dang, man. Regurgitate some beer. Yeah. It's, uh, no. You I'm just sorry. said hi to somebody who, <laughs> who, who doesn't know what's going on now. Yeah, I know. I thought, I thought we were Clint, talking about Clint, I'd like no. to apologize. Yeah. Sorry, dude. Yeah, we just Corey know. Alexander. No, we'll kiss you on right, the lips right. next time. Oh, I thought you said him and Clint could do the impression. No, oh, no. Okay. No, oh, you Clint, saying that was after Clint? Clint was the, the anal and suck five dicks guy. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Man, t- that, can you imagine? That's that's how you're known. Oh, that's shit. Your, the questions. <laughs> Shoot. What, what are we going to be known for? <laughs> Pad Thai. Pad Thai. And making fun of. No, I'm just going to have. I'm just going to have this. I'm just gonna have this like clip of you just like not wanting to answer a question. Nobody's gonna know what the question like, is. Yeah. Just do, like, <laughs> zoom in, zoom in on his face. Yeah, the intense music. Yeah, just the intense just like, music. Yeah, just like, he doesn't want to answer. He doesn't want to answer. That's fine. Like, again, I'm not. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not gonna fucking like sit here and make you answer a question. Like, no, bitch. Hey, you fucking tell hey. me. Hey. That's what we're doing right now. Yeah. Yeah. But it's so much better when you don't expect it. That's great. Nice. I was not expecting it. I was like, yeah, our questions are going to be like, yeah. do you like cheese? And I'm like, hell yeah. Yeah, that's the way they start. <laughs> Smoked like, Gouda, please. Like, you want to do anal or no? <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't nothing at all. I it thought was it was going to be vaginal. like, do you like Craig's Cruisers or Chuck E. Cheese more? And I'm like, yeah, oh, no. yeah I get, I get, down, with the, I get down with that rat. <laughs> well, the, last, <laughs> the last guy I had on, he's sitting there. He's like. He's like, do I have to answer fast or something? Because I forgot to say rapid fire. Oh, yeah. And I, but still, he's like, because the music makes it seem like <laughs> he's I just have like, to. See, I'm glad we're What's not the only people. Color? Like, oh. <laughs> I'm glad we're not the only people just sitting there nervous. Oh, God, this is really intense right now. Why but he took mean? forever to answer food. So I was like, all right, Green? I'm just going to cut to it. Anal or vaginal? <laughs> Dude, you, you thought, he was, gonna up be, our questions, thought he was going to be quick on that one? Yeah, yeah. No, he was pretty quick. Um. Yeah, he was like vaginal. Well, that so. that leads into the next question: Is he surviving the zombie apocalypse or no? Um, I didn't get to that one. <laughs> oh, oh no! Seriously, he dude, took he took bummer. that long. Holy crap! He so took, he got two questions it comes done. Out, it comes I'm out. I'm proud of myself. At man. the date of this filming, it comes out tomorrow. Sweet. So yeah, he's like yeah. It took him a while to huh. get through that song. I was like, holy shit, shit. man! I got I got to jump around it's here. All that head banging. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, this was actually a guy. This guy plays like uh, rock. Oh, nice. Man. See, that's you know, that's you know, and not to say anything against it. That's that's what I'm trying to avoid. Yeah. Is like I don't want this to be known as like just uh, you know, just metal bands. metal bands. Metal come bands. on, that podcast. I mean, yeah. I guess my logo looks a little bit like it, but that's the kind of Dude, style I well, like. Well, that's well, and that's I the style think I like. Even in like mainstream music, everyone's doing some sort of death metal logo just to like keep up with. That's like the trend anyway. So, you but know. it's not death metal. You can read it. Oh yeah, you can clearly it's read. Not it. true cult. And obscured always reminded me when I hear hear that name, I always want it to kind of be like a little like different. Yeah, but that's, that's just sick, me. Dude. That's just me. I didn't pay for that. No, that looks. I did rad, that dude. for free. That's like, super cool. <laughs> yeah, that looks tight. I like it. Took it. me like an I hour and a half, and I'm like, sent it to Rich. I'm like, here's the new logo. <laughs> no, it looks good, man. I like it. Yeah, I like it. A He's lot. got some like Chelsea grin 
Yeah, dude. Yeah, I was gonna say Chelsea Grin. And then the the, the, like, cool. the tree branches remind me of a uh, after the burial that old yeah. record they had. Oh the, dang! You guys cool, are propping me up here, man. Yeah, dude. I should start selling that shit. Man. <laughs> Hi, dude. You guys need buying all those? <laughs> you guys need buying all those? Dude, you can make a killing on that, man. 25 bucks, man. Don't make it. Oh, let's go. <laughs> 25 bucks. 25, 25 bucks. bucks. This is all, dude. 25 schmackaroonies, dude. Dude. Oh, and you got yourself a lug. You, <laughs> you got a lug. <laughs> you got yourself a lug, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's what all the kids are doing these days, right? Yeah. They shorten everything. Everything, <laughs> dude. Everything's got to be short. Why? Yeah. Shut up. Love. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yo, what? How do we get back to French? Am totes in a bag. I saw. I saw. I got a I just heard a new one, by the way. It's called Sus. Oh yeah, that's so sus. That's suspicious. From suspicious. Well, that's real sus. What's that game? That among Among Us. Among Us. Yeah. Oh, okay. Among Us. That's from Among Us. I don't really like the Yui thing. What's that? You seen that yet? The what? what? Ooh-y. You guys haven't seen that yet? What? Ooey. Dude, well, Rich explained it's like, it's it a couple like podcasts. It's like an anime ago. type emo. Oh, Uwu? Ooh. Ooh. I like anime. Ooh. Ooh. The U W U. Oh, yeah, dude. I send that to people as a joke Ooh. all the time. I think that's Ooh. funny. Ooh. What Ooh. is it? It's like, you know, if, if you're like into it, it's like, Ooh. He like, says, Ooh. Ooh. I don't know how to say. Oh, I, I just, say wee wee wah woo. Wee wee wah woo. We just watch Borat. It's a spy. Send me into bowl. Dude. Wee wee wee. Wee wee wee. King of the castle. King of the castle. King of the castle. I like. I like. Yeah, dude. I don't know. Back to weird. Great success. That's my favorite one. Just random like audio clips where he's like driving in the car. Can't even see him when he's here. Great success. (laughs) (laughs) You will never get this. (laughs) You will never get this. (laughs) Yeah, we love movies. Uh, Yeah, I remember watching that movie in high school. Just yeah, like right. Dying. Like that shaped my humor forever. <laughs> another another funny story of my wife too. Oh my god, this was brought up twice. Her dad again yeah. brought her and her brother to see Borat. Oh <laughs> did he know what it was? Her parenting no. fail no. in dude. theaters. Dude. Parenting fail. In theaters, that movie bro. came out a long time ago. <laughs> parenting <laughs> fail. Dude, that I might I'm guessing <laughs> they left, right? I don't think so. I think he just sat there like what the fuck? <laughs> Yo. This is my sister, number four, <laughs> number four <laughs> prostitute like, in Kazakhstan. <laughs> they might have left. I forget. Yeah, that's I a forget, great movie. I forget a lot. But <laughs> I, yeah, he brought them there. That's the that's the point of the story. That's he crazy. brought them there. That's holy shit, man, dude. That dude, the nuts. person like selling the ticket stub had to been like, "What the fuck are you thinking, <laughs> dude?" I just, and then he was like, "She has a belly button ring. It's yeah. fine. <laughs> <laughs> Game over, dude." <laughs> She can handle it now. She pierced her stomach. Well, she chose this for herself. She chose it, brother. Brother, <laughs> give me the damn tickets. He's under 11, so that's a kid yeah, one, right? it doesn't matter. <laughs> I know this robbery for this popcorn. I'm going to buy 40 fucking bucks. I'm the fucking parent. <laughs> you sell me the damn tickets. Oh, my God. <laughs> brother. Brother. I wish I had Don't a make voice. this get serious. Yeah. I'm getting Macho Man Randy Savage in here. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> take, it, take it to the ring, brother. Have you seen that video with Mick Lovin where he has the mic? He's like, damn, son, where'd you get those? I can't do it because my voice isn't deep enough, but it's so funny. It's not even his voice, but they make it look like his. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Oh. <laughs> Good times, dude. Saw, dude. Yes. Saw, living, dude. Living in you know that guy? Yeah. The saw, dude guy? Saw, dude. Oh, I, I ran don't know into him, him. I don't in know him. the Miami airport last year. Bro. <laughs> oh, you saw, saw, dude. Did you say did saw, you say saw dude? dude? I didn't. He you turned didn't? around and I went. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, don't do it. Bro, I'm sorry. Also, dude. he's like Saw, dude. He's like, I don't know how tall he is, but he was taller than me and he's like plastered in tattoos. And so like really? I saw him and I was like, uh, you don't look as nice as you did in the video. No. <laughs> I'm oh, like shit. Excuse me. <laughs> like he just blew all his money on tats. Oh, I he's would, he's dude. pretty tatted. I love tats. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, so. I, I was like walking up behind him and he had like this his like leg was all tatted up and I was like, those oh, are pretty man. sick. <laughs> and then when I was like three feet away, he went like this, and I was like Saw it in. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm just going to grab this feature. Just like, oh, I got to say something. 
shoot, man. So, 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 you become the meme of the kid who's in class with like his neck veins popping out. You're like, do it, you do it, you do it. Dude, I started, so I started getting into Hold lifting. On, Rich, did so, you get it? Dude, screaming no. in a metal Hold on, do band. do it again. Hold on, do it again. Dude, gonna like, <laughs> dude, literally screaming in a metal band would like freak people out. There's pictures of like a oh, vein sure. busting on my neck. Sure. I'm like, yo, dude, oh, yeah. you look like an insane, skinny, tiny version of George Corpse Grinder with that neck going on right now. Oh, dude. But there's so many, there's so <laughs> many people out there though that don't do it and that are doing it like. Well, they do it, but they're doing it, like, not trained. Right. right. Oh, dude. And it just... They're just blowing out their vocal cords and yeah, shit. Yeah, man, dude. They're I, in a band for R. two R. years. R.I.P. Sykes. <sighs> and then they're kicked out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude. My first metal band was like that. Our vocalist would just, like, scream at the <clears throat> top of his lungs. And it sounded sick, but towards the end of that, it was just like, yo, dude, are, are you okay? <laughs> like, is your, can You can't do a show okay? every week like that. Oh, dude. I yeah. mean, good thing we only played, I think, like, two shows anyway. But. Well, my first band was a two-piece. And we played a lot two of shows. Two pieces are what's up, dude. Just two piece. And gang, gang. we played, like I said, when I remember earlier when I was talking about playing yeah. my first show, the first time I ever played was as a two piece, and we had lyrics to one song that we played. The other was just yeah. instrumental. Instrumental metal band. Dude, it's I, really hard yeah, sometimes to get into. I was 16, I did that, but I relate to uh, instrumental metal bands. So hard. I'm like, you know, so he did lyrics to one song, yeah. very simple, just kind yeah. of screaming. He could make it sound good, just yeah. how he was. Yeah. And then people, but people liked it. That's the problem. So then we played, we opened for a metal band over there yeah. uh, by the name of Hikori. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard of them. And Ken Frank, <laughs> I had him on the podcast. Nice, He's, dude. You know, Mole, H Mole, we reached out to him. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, you can, you can open. So we opened. Nice, dude. And he's like, you guys get lyrics, you know, for the rest of your shit. You'll be welcome on any show, any other time. That's so I looked up, right man. at my guitarist, dude. Jordan Delgado. I looked at him. I'm just like, he's like, fuck, we got to come up with something. So he just fucking did it. Yeah. But he couldn't do it right. He didn't know how. So he's yeah. like drinking like the honey and tea yeah. and stuff like for shows. Yeah. We went and played at Harpo's twice. Nice. Uh, you know, we did the whole ticket scheme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And... Open for Mudvayne, and the second time nice, was Hate dude. Breed. Nice, that's a, those are impressive bands. But it was like before each show, he's like down he's like, this honey because we're you know we're playing, we're trying to play and get out yeah, there, you know, yeah. as much as we can. Now, if we have a big show coming up, we're trying to take a a break before, right? You know, just to freshen up. Shoot, but yeah, yeah. but yeah, that's the dude, thing though. You it's don't hard. train yourself, man. You're you're, you're fucked, man. Yeah, and that's that's my thing of like I actually took vocal lessons before I started screaming. Like screaming, scream. Like I, I have been doing it, and like I recorded a song out in Cali. Yeah, I was but... like, you can vocal lessons. <laughs> well, it's, no, I was just like, yo, I want to like, cause I remember I was like, after was this a from your in your church fucking place, no. man. No, uh, no, no, no that was you? like afterwards. I just recorded. What? <laughs> I was nineteen. <laughs> it's a church fucking place. If it was, if it was church <laughs> vocal lessons, I'd be like, sound like a man first sound of all, like and then they'd be like. So and it'd be like, hey! like, like opera or something hey! crazy. Hey! Oh, hey! Yeah, so when people are like, oh, auto tune sucks, I'm like, yeah, dude, can you freestyle? <laughs> like, we freestyle on can that you song? You freestyle anything. Yeah, I freestyled Warning Label. I don't Did like you? to freestyle, but the producer was like, let's do it and get out yeah. of the comfort dude, zone. Dude, you want to like, do it? <laughs> right now? You no, oh, absolutely it? not, dude. I've drank way too much <laughs> to like. Dude, freestyled even if. Dude, we hey, had the last guy we here. The, we'll that guy it. I referenced to, yeah. he did two lines and it was funny. Nice, dude. He just rhymed two words and it was funny. And we he stopped. <laughs> That's what's up. Yeah. Penis. So if you can get, if you can get <laughs> fetus, boom, right there. Dude. So you can get Bars. four lines. Fuego. If you can get four lines, it's even better. Do you think you can get four lines on a freestyle? You don't yeah. even know. You don't even know what the beat is. Four lines on a freestyle yeah, on a, with, with no, no beat. Oh man, you, no, you don't. He so said he hard. don't even even know what the beat is. Oh yeah, because I don't have I'll one. Try. I don't I'll have try. one. I don't have one programmed for this. So <clears> we're just gonna use the last one, and it's actually for it's an intro. Yeah. For when you do an acoustic set, so instead of that, yeah, you're gonna freestyle it. So hit me with it, Rich. Oh my! How goodness. long is it? Oh, it's a long time. You can just stop when you want to stop. It's, this is this is all. I, if people watch this, they yeah. have context to what's going on here. Okay, they can hear this whole conversation. Sweet. Oh shit! Damn. Oh man, it's. it's I probably drank too much because I feel pretty silly. So, <laughs> silly Willie. Okay. 
with the dilly. <clears throat> Don't forget to throw some uh. cough off my willy. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh. that's my job. Sipping on uh, cream soda. Yeah. Writing lyrics like Yoda. Never yeah. say them backwards. Only say them forwards. All I look to the future. I can't do it. I can't do it. Oh! I can't even do it right Still now. I'm like, my brain is just not. That was functioning. good. It started off good. No, that was good. That's all right. That's good. Yeah. Hey, that can I get good. an air horn for that one? Oh, we don't have one. We have the buzzer. We have the oh, buzzer. That'll work. <laughs> dude, I can't free. It's, no, it's like right. hit or miss with me. That started off good, dude. Thanks. I wouldn't be ashamed. Dude, it's hard. Yeah, no it's hard to freestyle. Dude, it it's is. so hard. It is. For sure. Dude, even when you're by yourself in the car, you'll just be like, man, fucking. Dude, yeah. Sometimes you know, yeah, yeah. You know? I I'm just that. I just haven't done it in a while. I used to do it all the time because when I worked right. for my uncle, I would drive. Yeah, you a could tell you like, like figured it out. You watched the beat. You're like, how's this gonna go? And you went for it. Yeah, and then I just face painted. You had a rhythm though. This is this is for the people that are starting out as rappers. I'm not. <laughs> ra- Sometimes you eat shit, and people see you eat shit, and this is what you say to them. Mm, that tastes good. Mm. And you show no pain, and then you show no insecurity. Unfazed. And then you cry later at night when you're by yourself. But Unfazed. When, <laughs> show no tears when the enemy is present. No weakness. <laughs> no weakness. Watch a mm. Dwayne The Rock Johnson like inspiration video. Or and then the you're like, Shia LaBeouf. The, the Shia LaBeouf, the Just Do It video. <laughs> do Watch you guys, that. Just do you guys, uh, have do you, it. Have you guys ever seen an Ever you guys? Any you guys ever seen an alien before, or a- anything paranormal? Oh, dude, yeah, hundred percent. Rich, hit me with that fucking what the fuck you know. Man. Yeah, I think aliens are real for sure, man. And the like fact- spirits are like like oh, ghosts yeah, and see, demons. Right, I, think, I, think, I think spirits are real. Yeah, dude, hundred percent for real, for yeah. real. I mean, I haven't seen an alien, but for real, you know, I've experienced like the paranormal, like the you know spirits and like all that for sure. For sure, yeah. I, I mean, believe I'm that pretty shit. religious. Still. I believe this shit. Yeah. So, oh, dude, oh, it's crazy. Crazy. I just want to. <laughs> Need some Ooh, creaking. Like somebody's good. sitting in their chair weird, so it makes a rocking sound. Dude, I'm telling you guys, this is the one I'm about to release tomorrow. You guys got to watch it because this guy's it's got some be awesome. fucking stories. Dude, that's crazy, man. Dude, so, what do you. Dude, I love your sound Eater. effects. <laughs> yeah, I just go <laughs> sit. Uh, yeah, man. I mean, like, I've had anything crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, I would love some honey. Oh, the frog here. Oh, 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 what's going on there, Goof? Gorsh, you oh, know oh, the oh, aliens oh, are real. Gorsh, <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah, dude. No, one time though, oh, uh, I think I was driving. Where was I driving? It was in Humboldt County. So I've lived in Humboldt County. Humboldt. Humboldt County, uh, part of the um, the Emerald Triangle, you know, uh, Arcata, Eureka, Mendocino County out there. Totally saw a Sasquatch, for real. Really? Dude, it was, and this is a stupid thing, because it's just me. Sasquatch sighting. Yeah, dude, for real. It's just me, and because that's where all the Redwoods are. That's where all the Redwoods are. You ever heard are. the story? Of Sasquatch? No, his story of a Sasquatch. No, I have not. This is fresh. Oh, dude. No, this is this fresh. Is, this is like the last. This is fresh time. out the gate. Dude, fresh it was crazy, gate. man. I was Ooh. my second year living out there, and it was late at night. And I was like driving from, I was hanging out with this lady friend of mine who I shouldn't have been hanging out with. And I was in ministry school mm. at the time. So I was like, you know, How feeling, oh, I must have been like 19. 19. 19 years old. Driving 19. the the, Still on the, the Honda, yeah, right? Honda Odyssey minivan and slate and you know i like totally took a wrong turn because i was driving from red crest back to fortuna right which if my friends who have lived out there they know exactly where i'm talking about but there's this little divot that goes like right into the woods oh dang man that was a good one and uh dude right there slammed on my brakes just standing right there and i was like dude this is nuts i have got to be like i must have like got high or something on accident because there's like on a sasquatch and i at first i was like this has got to be a guy in a costume but how tall do you think it was oh dude then i did a it flat like, ground back it must flight. have been like six feet you know i'm a short dude so and, but it wasn't, it wasn't like crazy it must have been like six feet and i was like dude this is freak me out if this is a guy in a costume that's almost scarier because it just like ran across the yeah, road no just standing there just walk like walked out like was standing just, straight yeah, there yeah, straight there you didn't pull out, out your camera no well i nothing. okay i had an iphone like five and it's at night you know <laughs> you had nothing i had you didn't literally pull out nothing your camera. no nope. how long did it stay I, in there dude i i was like how long i literally was like scared i was like sit like what you don't even remember how long oh dude it must have been i don't know five minutes it must have been five minutes but it was like a long time just Holy like standing there and you're just like 
and that's why I'm like, this has got to be. This has got to be a human. This has got to be like a guy chilling in a costume. And then he like walked away, and I like sat there for another minute. How do you know it was a he? I maybe it was a lady Sasquatch. Yeah, Would a lady know. Sasquatch have boobs? I don't know. Do they? Feed nah, I think you would know because a male Sasquatch would have a hammer between his legs. Yeah, That's all I'm so saying. That do hog Johnson. female gorillas like teat feed? Yeah, yeah. It's a mammal. So just so two teats. Part of being though, a right? mammal. Yeah, part of being a mammal. They don't have, they have like, like rest still teats. absolutely stacked. Fucking Bill. They're just like, dude. Gorillas. Can you imagine though? Having a gorilla like weight train and find out how strong those things actually are? No, I can't. That would be insane. Can you imagine? That would be crazy. Just I can't imagine. Bit. Hey, Rich, if you want to switch it to room, you can take off. If you got to take off for your lady friend, or we can wrap this up if you want. But I mean, we, can keep going we, for we are talking about ripped gorillas like right, right now. now. <laughs> I feel like we need a plug. <laughs> All well, right, I Pete just realized me. I think it's probably past it oh, six fifteen, bro. Is that bro? A, put this on the camera. Bro. Six fifteen, bro. Bro, I got fucking gang gang. Yeet. I got. I got that fucking time down, bro. I don't think I've said yeet in five years, but yeet. I just said it right now. Dude, that deserves a fucking a yeet, an off the chain. Yeet! Off the chain, bro. I'm just saying Insane if you want to. In the membrane. But no. Yeah, rip. do you have any paranormal stories? Yeah, mine was lame. It was just my scary scats. No, story. that's fucking legit. Uh, not like that. <laughs> no. No, I mean, there's like been times where I thought, it, like, where I've like seen ghosts in the house. We stayed at this house in Canada. There was like this old abandoned mansion. Music rich. And uh, so we're in Canada. Oh, I think you got Everything oh, about right Canada there. is scary. The moose. The maple syrup. The, the overly friendly white people. About Canada. So I, I've never been to Canada. <coughs> it's, it's so America. it's kind of like America. Pretty much. But it looked scary. like it. With scary. universal health care. <laughs> but really scary. So what were you doing in Canada? Justin Trudeau is a menace. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. <laughs> He's got a great smile. Guys. That's all I know. <laughs> um... So we went and stayed at this abandoned mansion up in Canada. You stayed at an abandoned mansion? Did you really? Well, I guess it wouldn't be abandoned if they allowed people to, like, rent it. Yeah. But it was, like, Airbnb. super old. This was probably before Airbnb. So it, was, it was probably, like, But it was occupied. It was occupied. Yeah, back when you had to know yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. You know. But, like, you would go in the basement, and there was, like, chains, and, like, there was, like, Like, this, everything's like, still there, original. Yeah, so there's like a, like so a dead cat like, skeleton in the basement. There's a bunch of like really weird like stuff. So you hear, conjuring so you hear at the hotel. Or yeah, so place. it's like this like really old house, and we were staying there, and on the first night, um, I was sleeping in a room with my cousin, and I went to bed, and the next day my mom like came in um, to the room. She's like, "What were you doing last night?" And I was like. I was sleeping. She's like, were you running around in the hallways with your cousin? And I was like, no. no and she's like, I had to have been like 10. But I mean, I was, I was gonna a, say 10. I, I was, was a little shit, 10. dude. Like, I was, I was just a little shitter. It. So like, yeah. I had a hot head. Like, I, I was a pretty hot head. running around the hallways with your cousin. So yeah, at sense. like 1130 yeah, yeah. It makes sense. Yeah. And my mom's like, well, you're gonna sleep in my room with me tonight and your dad. And so I was like, okay. And so like, I had like this like, like bed off to the side yeah. right? and uh, because yeah. I was running around in the hallways I wasn't mom and now you know that it was the demons she's totally you know, gonna listen to this demons. Hi. Um, so I go to like sl- I'm sleeping in my parents room with them and my sister was in her room and in the middle of the night she heard like a tree branch like smacking her door and it was like knocking on the window outside yeah and, like, she said it sounded like a person, but she was like, there's no person in my room. And so she just, like, ignored it and was like, it's the tree, whatever. I went to sleep, and then she woke up in the morning and opened her blinds, and there was literally nothing by the window at all. Nothing. And she was like, Nothing at the window. Nothing She's up, up high. She's up high. Like, nothing flat there. Flat wall, nothing there. <coughs> and something's, like, knocking, knocking on the Knocking on the fucking window. Dude. What time of night? Probably like two. Two in the morning. Oh, pretty man. late. Oh, dude. right near witching hour, yeah, dude. Bro. Yeah. Bro, saw dude. So my sister gets moved into my parents' room, and now we're all in there. And in, in the middle of the night, there's like this loud thud. Like my, sounds like my sister falls out of bed in the room. I thud. wake up. My parents wake up, and my mom's like, "Lauren, are you okay?" I think it was Lauren. I don't remember which sister it was. And she's like, "Yeah, I'm fine. Why?" She's like, 
did you just fall out of bed? She's like, no. Dude. And like, oh. so like my parents were hearing people like running around like in the hallways and like, Damn, dude, that would suck. Dude. Kids <laughs> playing, like, oh, people knocking is... on the windows yeah. and like, yeah, dude. Yeah, man. and that was the last time I went to Canada. Was it really? No, nah, I went <laughs> back for Tim Hortons. Because <laughs> their Tim Hortons is different than the one here. And it's, well, dude. it's so much better here. Well, guys, guys, you got to give a plug for your, for your Celio Green. <laughs> we're, we're working every it's a uh, parkway green. <laughs> <laughs> celio green no celio drive you gotta give a fucking shout out for that here where can everybody find you guys uh so hit us up on all of our social medias super yes. easy our tag is yes. at songs by celo drive um facts and we're just spelled c-i-e-l-o drive yes so and if you want to call it Celo Drive, you're more than welcome to if you want to call it Cielo Drive, you're more than welcome to if you want to call, call it Cello Drive, get out Leave. Yeah, yeah. No, we don't. Not, we don't none tolerate of that. that. Cielo. 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 It's, fine. it's basically when you 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 go to pronounce it Cielo and you're like, that's wrong. No, you're right. You're probably right. Yeah. You're right. Cielo. Yeah. Cielo um, Drive. Yeah. Your and culture. Our, that's should what we that say means. when our album comes out? Yeah. Okay. So our album, first album, disc one, comes out on April second. So Ooh, we said that. Ooh, April second. We did. April second. April. April yeah. 2nd. How, how many songs again? Uh, five, five songs. Five, five songs. Yes. Yep. And uh, it's cool. This album. I'm I know excited. We're wrapping up, but all yeah. of our friends, literally people who are our friends, mm-hmm. helped us do the artwork. Our friends helped us do all the videos and photography. Our friends helped us literally record this record. So we kept out it in the fam. To all <laughs> no. F is for fam, dude. Yeah, fam, fam dude. Oh, dude. <laughs> fam, dude. But yeah, kept them in fam, dude. Fam, dude. Oh, oh, yeah. so, but we're super stoked. It's gonna <laughs> make a good time. So I'm stoked. Dude, thank you, man. Thanks for having us on. Oh, yeah. and if you're listening, you can listen to our song Girls on YouTube. Yeah. Girls on YouTube? On YouTube. Just YouTube. type in Cielo Drive Girls. Yeah. We're like getting a lot of traction, so it's like popping up more. Like and if you just yeah. type in Cielo yeah. Drive, which is cool. And this is their other single, Hate Me. Hit me with it, Rich. Oh, the intro come again. On. Hit me with the intro again, Rich. Yeah. Dude, this one, yeah. this one might be my favorite. This one is this good. Uh, it's really good. Thank you, man. <laughs> so, you guys are some yeah, fucking dude. cool yeah, ass dude, dudes, bro. Dude, thanks, man. Thank this is so fun. much your too, dude. This has been yeah. so fun, man. This is a good time. <laughs> it was a great time, man. Probably one of the best freestyles I've ever laid down in my life. Dude. Yeah, this is a freestyle. This, uh, this one For right everyone here? that said that I couldn't freestyle. This yeah. is a no, 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 no. We wrote this in right, like yeah. a couple minutes, but no, yeah, no. So. Warning label is freestyle. Uh, so that's what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Warning label. Warning label. Warning label. What are the songs again? So we have girls. Girls. Into teenage dirtbag. Teenage yes. dirtbag. No, no, no. Hey. Girls. Girls into yes. warning label. Yes. Into warning label. Yes. Then into teenage dirtbag. Yes. Teenage dirtbag. And then girls. Girls. Nope. And then you. Then should. hate no, me. Oh, no, hate me. Son of a. We put girls on there <laughs> twice. <laughs> Hate me is after. All right, give me the rundown real quick. Oh, Here, I'll do it. I'll do it. Here we go. Okay, you ready? Right, right, we got girls, not real ones, but the song. Yeah. We got warning label. We got teenage dirtbag. We got hate me, and we got you should pray. There we go. All five, baby. All Read five. them and weep. Um, five. Girl, yeah, five. Read them and weep. Come on. Cool. Thank Hell you, yeah, dude. Man. Give me a fade out, Rich. Hell yeah, man. Dude, that was a good time, man. Dude. That was really rad. Shit. Was that fun? Yeah, man. Dude, that was sick, dude. dude I've that never was done so this much before. fun. That was really fun. Yeah.